scriptures talk about a blessedness that happens to a man whose delight is in the law of God. So as someone says, it says, but his delight is in the law of God. And doth he meditate day and night. He says that that man is like a tree planted by the rivers of water, whose leaves do not wither, when he bears fruit in every season. As you are about listening to this message, we believe that your life is going to be like that man planted by the rivers of water. Your leaves are forever going to bear. And we know that your, your season will not pass by. You will forever shine and you will forever bear fruit. We have a lot of content to share with you. So we would entreat you to subscribe to this channel as well as like us. Hit that notification bell to receive more updates from us because we know that whatever content here is going to set you on calls at every time. It's going to make you attain whatever stature that Christ wants you to attain. Thank you. Sing that song for us while we... Powerful song. For those of you coming here for the first time, this is Koinonia. A habitation that is absolutely conducive for the Holy Spirit. This is one of the reasons because we allow him to minister and edify the people. Genesis chapter 1 verse 26 now I want to show you the system of shared dominion we see it here are we together and God said read the next two words one to go let us I'll tell you what else to read make man in our own image after our likeness and then the next two words so we see 
let us let them let us let them there is a dimension of access we need there is a dimension of access they need so it is partnership are we together now kings reign in this kingdom through shared dominion let us there is a dimension of sovereignty that is exclusive to the office of the godhead let us there is a portion of governance that is allocated and restricted to god's sovereign power and wisdom the saints can never tap into that dimension any act and any desire to want to tap into that dimension will be the same thing that lucifer did let us that's the first revelation i wanted to have tonight that there is a jurisdiction of kingdom governance that is exclusively exclusively manifested by the godhead the saints have not been apportioned that dimension so you need to understand that there is a restriction to our dominion and we must understand the jurisdiction of governance that's why it is delegated let us when it has to do with making man listen carefully no man can make man it takes god to make men let us when it comes to governance and executing that mandate man can do it but let us man cannot make man so let us make man who makes men in this kingdom talk to me please the word make man there does just, just mean create man it means to cause an effect in man god can make men successful god can make men victorious the making of men is exclusively the office of god paul may plant listen i'm teaching you how kings reign paul may plant apollos may water but the making of joshua selman is only in the office of Christ this is good news for you because the person who said you will never make it is a joke find out whose office is responsible for making men let us make men man can try to clone men but he cannot put the image of God in men let us please keep it there make men let us create a kingdom of kings let us use the infinite potential that is resident within us that even the angels have searched for ages in wonder let us use that multifaceted dimension of our wisdom to make this entity and let us make it in such a way that he will be in our image and after our likeness and then when we make him in our image and our likeness our job ends now let them who have been made in our image and our likeness have dominion let us transfer governance to them and allocate a jurisdiction your jurisdiction of governance starts from the second heavens the saints cannot govern in the first heaven heaven is controlled exclusively by the godhead read your bible nobody in the first heaven the heaven of heaven where god dwells has any authority or any power to give any kind of legislature christ himself is the light of that city if at any time you are given any instructions or authorizing anything in the heaven of heavens you are a rebel the jurisdiction of governance for the saints start in the second heavens that's where demon spirits start because they know that this is where our jurisdiction starts so they move around in the heavenlies but not just the heavenlies where god is so the archangels and all of them only obey instructions they don't invent instructions what rules heaven is not ideas is instructions why on earth we are allowed to manifest creativity in heaven there is creativity but it's not a derivative of the individual no 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 the creativity is exclusively god's will and then whatever you are allocated you obey it as an instruction let them let us make them then they have dominion over 
the fish of the sea now you may think that he's just mentioning water air he's mentioning jurisdictions these are territories with spiritual implications the first he says the fish of the sea usually he will use a creature that resides within that habitat and uses it as a template that means that man should have dominion over the sea that means no manipulation that has to do with water as an element of the supernatural should have expression is a mandate let him have dominion it's not about fish it's about the sea because you see the sea is not just a place of fish the sea is where the mystery of abundance comes abundance is tied to the sea let them have dominion mm. read for me verse 20 and 21 20 and 21 please let me show you something about water read are you a christian we're reading 20 and 21 ready and God said stop where did the creatures come out from read your Bible where did they come out of are you seeing that now let the waters bring forth abundance the moving creature that had life and the fowl that may what so the birds came out of where that may fly above the earth in an open firmament of heaven in case you thought it was just a mistake of translation let's read 21 one to go uh-huh which the waters brought forth abundantly after their kind and every wing fowl after listen this is the reason why every shrine every native doctor evil is always associated with water when jesus was going to the other side the sea started getting boisterous jesus understood the dynamics they thought it was just a storm jesus smiled and said be still be still as soon as he went over a madman was waiting there full of demons and said jesus you have come abundance i give you dominion dominion over the sea and the mysteries that are hidden there let's go back to 26 and then the fowl of the air the air is a territory is a habitat that requires an execution of dominion it was solomon in his wisdom that said when men speak there are invisible birds that carry their words is it in your bible <laughs> i want a child and that word is transported to a region where it should not be and you sleep in the night and a stranger comes because someone invited him and comes to sleep with you and all of a sudden the pregnancy is lost the power the air is so important satan said demons you can rule anywhere but me i want to many of you think satan is down this air is where mysteries happen whoever takes control of the spiritual climate the air the physical atmosphere you will be so blessed tonight i want to open your eyes to certain things there is a way kings reign it's not just by speaking i will never be this calm down just let's take it easy and you will understand that most of what we are doing is called vain babbling we talk and think that because we are mentioning right words uh -uh. and over what is the third territory the earth the earth this ground you see is a deep ancient mystery everybody listen carefully this earth you see is not just sand what kind of entity is it that you can dig a hole throw corn close it back no battery no electricity it starts coming with roots tied to it and you no longer can remove the tree again 
when humans die we don't leave them in the sky we plant them in the earth the tallest building in the world has a point of contact with the earth every human being alive the earth is a universal point of contact every human being makes contact with this earth and he gave us dominion and then over every creeping thing that creepeth upon the earth and the bible says let them have dominion that means listen genesis 1 26 is not an is not a suggestion it's not an advice it's not one of those communications in scripture where the bible say i said before you this and that it was a decree a divine decree by the godhead he said these men we have made let them have dominion in other words we transfer the governance of this territory from the day god said let them have dominion he relinquished direct control over the earth and the heavenlies he restricted himself to the first heavens listen this is the mystery behind god needing men so helplessly that you see sometimes god will look like he's he's frustrated because he cannot find a man and sometimes we are tempted to ask god are you not mighty are you not so mighty can't you just come in and do whatever you have to do and he says no i passed a decree if it was a suggestion it would have been changed when kings pass decrees they don't bend to it it is stamped it is sealed let them have dominion over territories let them have dominion i have allocated spheres of influence and according to revelation chapter 5 verse 10 as we have read in previous series um, um, parts of the series how that we have been made unto our god a kingdom of priests and we have been mandated to reign to reign to reign i want you to get that word dominion is not bragging dominion is legislature dominion is governance dominion is managing the earth on behalf of heaven forcing the earth to reflect the glory the character the power the possibilities of god and part of the system of management includes some of the things that i'm going to be showing you are you ready let me show you how to have dominion 1 verse 28 and god blessed them and said unto them these are the facets that are contained in dominion number one be fruitful be fruitful there is no dominion without fruitfulness number two multiply that means god's idea is not just that you rule alone to multiply means that your seed your seed your seed must also partake in governance not just your physical seed your seed is anything that comes out of you your ideas are we together where you subdue territories because you have been able to multiply replenish the system of restoration that when things deplete in everyone who loves god and is powerful and understands the dominion mandate there is no such thing as a dry season forever because fabricated and put in man is the ability to replenish replenish meaning that you are you are mandated to turn any desert situation physically and spiritually replenish and then subdue subdue confront the limiting factors confront the resistances and prevail over them that's how you have dominion upon every other thing now this looks very simple until i begin to share with you the things that god has put in my heart tonight anybody who does not execute this fourfold mandate any institution that does not execute this fourfold mandate will never never move forward are we together yes. there must be a system of continuity 
replenishing replenishing that's why when satan wants to corrupt this mandate from a family he starts killing all the men in that family he's trying to sabotage the capacity to replenish so that gradually they, he will wipe away from the face of the earth that family and what they represent both spiritually and physically the inability to be productive is a cause many people do not understand that the inability to be fruitful the inability to multiply yourself your results your potentials is limited he made a garden in the east of eden an authorized man that through a system that man will extend that garden all over the earth god never created the whole earth and made it like the, the whole earth was not the garden of eden the garden of eden was a portion and man was kept there to see and acclimatize himself with that environment and be able to tap the resources from eden and now use them to reproduce earth governance entails a number of things we must understand how kings reign in this kingdom because for many of us our concept of governance is usurping authority over men are we together when we say you are in governance even from a kingdom dimension many people's idea is that i have two or three people that answer yes sir to me and once they see that they say wow i am in governance and then i ill treat them in the public to show that i have some kind of superior advantage that is not dominion that is oppression oppression everywhere this template of oppression was told there was rebellion somewhere sometime read it all through scripture pharaoh oppressed the people of god for a long time one day they were tired god too was tired he joined them and together they sank into the red sea and their lives that kingdom that dynasty just went places you do not oppress men oppression is not dominion let me talk about oppression before i talk about this do you know what oppression is oppression is a system of stopping other people from manifesting dominion also it's a dangerous state it's an antichrist spirit oppression including pastors including prophets apostles most people what we call dominion is oppression refusing resources from reaching people to keep them poor is a strategy by the enemy for oppression that's not dominion hiding potentials from people for their minds to be oriented so that they can also be empowered so that you keep them as slaves history is full of wicked kings dictators monarchs and individuals who refuse to supply information that empower people when you rob people of truth in order to keep them loyal it's not dominion it's oppression and we still do it in the modern day today we still do it in churches with all due respect there are men of god whose idea of fatherhood whose idea of mentorship is oppression is witchcraft we take away the liberty of people i don't mean accountability we literally create a theology that makes us own people we own their lives we own their time are you ready for oppression number two unemployment forever is oppression hmm. did you hear what i said unemployment forever for the purpose of salary is a system of oppression i carry your presence everywhere who am i your mind is so full of me mortal man awesome man According to scripture, read your Bible. Employment, employment as we know, started with Jacob and Laban. Is that true? God would work with people 
and allow you to serve under a system to learn and to be built but a time must come you don't need to have a new platform but you no longer receive salary you become a partaker of the blessings of that system this is god's system are we together but it was laban that brought this wicked antichrist strategy of being a servant and an employee forever don't i'm not saying you should hate your boss i'm just telling you where this thing came from because jacob came in with the blessing and he began to make laban prosper and laban noticed that this man had something that made him prosper then laban went and used divination spells powers and he found out that there was something on jacob and he said i will leave this guy i will keep tipping him enough to remain with me then one day jacob asked a question and said i have served you when will i now go and have my own house when will i build my own life and laban said don't ever bring that statement again does that sound like employment i will keep you here and then later he said okay i need a wife and this guy look at how wicked he was when he knew that he was going to get his wife this man suffered for seven good years when it was time to have his wife what happened they changed them is that true and then kept him again look how jacob suffered like a fool he was the one who was doing the work but who was the credit going to listen any system in the world that keeps people as employers forever regardless of their productivity is a cost system i know many people will insult me for what i'm saying that's the reason why people finish working after 40 years and live miserable lives god is a god that starts by helping men serve others and build but eventually they must become partakers of the blessings and the benefits the people the tribe that does this well are evil people today you see it they are using that kingdom system that's why there is continuity so they bring in a young boy and he serves for a while is that true and then eventually they now start telling him okay we we'll leave you in the shop and then one day there's what we call settling am i right evil people and that settling you don't just say okay go back to your father's house no you are able to bring up something that is strong enough to bless that then him too he will now stand on his own the mandate multiply multiply that's why the jews are exceptional people today notice some of the best firms in the world that's what they do the moment you are, you are working and you get to a level they stop paying you salary your salary becomes in percentage that means they give you an identity within that corporation you don't necessarily need to have your own corporation are you seeing a corruption of the dominion mandate that's why there are people who never become anything in life because they subscribe to an innocent system that keeps allocating tips to just keep them there and for as long as they are there forever you serve somebody for 40 years and live with a bye-bye that's a cost system you don't like what you're hearing you better like it too because this is what is responsible for the decadence in the lives of people in the name of spiritual fatherhood i believe in fatherhood i believe in mentorship but there are people today who own the atms of people there are pastors who own the atms of people there are pastors who own they can tell anybody bring me your car bring me your this oh no come on please oppression is not dominion never confuse oppressing people to oppress people means to take away their right of liberty forcefully to take away their right of even um in in ancient times there was a season called jubilee jubilee after every seven year there was a sabbath and then after 49 years seven sets of sabbaths the 50th year was declared a year of jubilee and at that year you will release every slave not just release them to go but empower them no matter what happened to them 
but you can empower them and they can say you have been a good master for me i don't want to go in that case you will pierce their ears as a sign that they are no longer they are not just servants out of um, um oppression are we together they have become servants willfully born servants there is a lot of oppression in our world and that's why the dominion mandate has suffered even among believers we pride ourselves in oppression so i just needed to balance that straight away so that many of us do not fabricate the idea of oppression to feel i need to go back to my house dominion mandate my wife has not been listening to me now that i'm going back she will know that i have dominion where are you from today you cook what i eat that's 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 not it there are several people from several nations listening and it's, it, it will be costly to assume we need to define the concepts here that we are stating so that people do not oppress people a man does not go and start beating his child and killing his child and say i am your father you must listen to me oppression everywhere from the bible and through history where there was oppression there was a rebellion and a revolt eventually how do kings reign how do we execute this dominion mandate when it comes to execution and legislature what are the systems what are the dimensions of dominion number one how do we dominate in this kingdom the ministry of prayer number one i want to show you how kings legislate how we dominate the ministry of prayer philippians chapter 4 please 6 and 7 you will not suffer my food to be i carry your presence everywhere who am i your mind is so full of me Portal man, awesome God. Portal man, awesome God. be careful for nothing the word careful there is not just um, uh, to not play caution. That's not what he's saying. Are we together? It, it, it describes um, the, the resistance that comes as a result of fear, of uncertainty. And he says, be careful for nothing, but in everything. By what? Prayer and supplication. Let your request. The authorized system of presenting your request to the headquarters is prayer not complaining not grumbling grumbling does not call the attention of heaven please listen i know some of us you know we are humans and sometimes we can be confronted by challenges and then we just think by shouting oh god what is this now are you not watching how about god am i not your child that is emotional that is human that is consoling but you have not made your request made it says by prayer and supplication then with thanksgiving this is the system the same way when you have a company if pastor alpha has a company now and say i'm his secretary he will have to teach me how to present requests to his table are we together there are others you need to write and sign we need five bags of this 10 bags of this we need to go on a trip this is the cost and then you put everything and submit it in the ministry here in koinonia there is a system where requests get to my table you don't just walk and say i think i need water no there is a system are we together now the leaders have been trained to understand the system where you pass your request whether as a department whatever it is and the finance department has been trained to respond to those needs only when the system is well complied with so what makes you believe that heaven is haphazard oh god just hear me there is a system are you hearing what i'm saying now that every time you need help you don't wish it you don't grumble about it you don't just say pray for me oh prayer band you are going on tuesday abby please when you go tell my sister that i couldn't make it just pray for me let me tell you i'm not against intercession but i'm against laziness spiritually and any other dimension he says by prayer by what 
prayer is a system of dominion on the earth men who do not pray cannot legislate the authorized system to present your request to heaven is prayer and supplication backed up by thanksgiving as a sign of faith that you did not pray to an animal you pray to an intelligent god seated in the heavens let me tell you something if you don't end your prayer a quality prayer giving thanks you missed out a major portion it's like cooking and forgetting salt and forgetting maggi and say no problem just eat it like that there is a serious problem now you may say the quantity of salt is small but don't put it and see how it alters the taste believers do not pray we live in a time and age where pray for me is the most popular language among believers pray for me prayer department pray for me benga promise pray for me pastor alpha i'm not against uh, maybe a higher anointing helping you but we have lazy people there are all kinds of financial seeds now there is a battle seed you know what a battle seed is that means i don't have the time and the luxury to pray so what happens is that i encourage you with a seed and with that seed you will spend the night praying while i'm sleeping see let's not lie to ourselves here we are christians are we together the bible says let your request you are the one in that fire you are the one who wants to come out let your request know make it known through prayer the first system of legislature is prayer let's look at first timothy 2 long reading from verse 1 to 8 quickly please first timothy chapter 2 verse 1 to 8 and then i'll share a few things about prayer and um i may just give us three or four dimensions of the of dominion then we'll round off tonight first timothy chapter 2 first timothy are we still there media first timothy chapter 2 from verse 1 we're reading down to 8 i exhort therefore this is paul now speaking to his son in the gospel timothy that first of all what supplications prayers intercession are you seeing now paul obeying that rule too and giving of thanks be made for what all men prayer is important intercession 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 is not just praying for souls intercession is agreeing with god on behalf of people that certain things still find expression on the earth because of the benefit of that thing even to you as a person read on verse 2 then he says to pray for what kings and for all that are in authority does it look like nigeria is doing this we are not doing it all we are not praying for kings we are not praying for those in authority we are complaining and we are angry we are saying all kinds of things bringing all kinds of political things i'm teaching you how kings dominate how many workers pray for their bosses there is a reason why god says to pray for your superiors he says and for kings and all that are in what any kind of authority why that we may lead a quiet and peaceable life that we including you the person praying there is an effect of their misgovernance on you and so for that sake you have to pray and say lord you I, I trust you to come in that we may lead a quiet and peaceable life in all godliness and honesty if we do not intercede for leaders we don't intercede for nigeria and for africa you don't intercede for your boss let me tell you something listen it's a very serious secret i want to share with you every time you pray for your superior you have access to their heart no matter how godless they are practice this and watch wonders that happen every time you pray for your superiors god grants you access to their hearts 
oh that stupid boss stupid stupid man he removed ten thousand from my salary god is hearing you now you would think you will win because it's true that he removed that there is something about authority that even god respects he says pray that we may lead a peaceable and quiet life in godliness and honesty verse 3 for this is good and acceptable in the sight of god our savior uh-huh who will have all men to be what be saved we need to pray and intercede do you know hold on do you know the decadence in society is because there are many people who are not saved are we together step into a village a community where there is a there is a spread of unbelievers there's only one church in that city only one pastor who is not even sure he's born again let me tell you hell will prevail over that city do you know why because there is no spiritual resistance nobody is saved children are in occult from three years four years five years you see them telling you stories that will make you not sleep you know why because god does not have envoys within those a territory it matters that god finds a people it is in the multitude of men that the king's honor lies when god does not have men in a city it affects the growth of that place there are cities in the world there are cities in nigeria where god has very little men and we know what happens to the cause of the kingdom within those territories there is darkness there is oppression and all kinds of things and then he says that god will have all men to what not only be saved comma but to come into the knowledge of the truth because there are people who are saved but ignorance can keep a society are you seeing how we dominate you step into a society and you see poor people everywhere the highest person has just one house with mud and you are looking and say lord there is there are levels of truth that we do not know the average family within that territory lasts only five years all the children are armed robbers by 10 the ladies marry by 12 not because they want to marry once she's 11 11 and a half she's pregnant are we together and all of a sudden you find out that there's disobedience stealing smoking drinking all kinds of decadence the bible says that god wants men to come into the knowledge of the truth an irresponsible man who cannot take care of his family and you are within that territory the bible says you can begin to dominate over that territory it's a lost art that we don't know in church again to pray over territories until we shift the climate in that territory and begin to cause things to happen read the world's revival read revivals that have passed there were men who prayed non-stop for 100 years for certain things to happen some of us our mother started praying since we were born now you are 20 years you wanted to get into something that, that you didn't like that climate there was already a build up a spiritual fortification we do not pray over environments we do not pray over territories we do not intercede that god will step in and say lord invade zaria have you noticed the developments that have been happening in zaria in recent times there used to be old buildings everywhere because you see a city assumes the shape of the spirit that controls it yes the economy of a city the 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 level of civilization in that city is a reflection of the controlling powers it's one of the ways you know that a city is under oppression there are many of us like that you enter your city you see red zings everywhere uncompleted buildings everywhere those traits are symbols they are signs they are tokens they are representations of controlling powers over cities and the bible says when we want to begin to liberate cities not give me tea not give me bread i'm teaching you the prophetic and intercessory dimension of prayer where you begin to travel until you shift away the spiritual climate of territories for many years and it's still happening in zaria 
men and women zaria zaria is like a woman that has been pregnated with the prayers of the saints zaria is full of the history of moves after moves of men and women who have prayed some of them did not even know what was leading them every night every day in zaria there is always something happening somebody is praying somewhere in your room at the back of one fence somewhere under a tree prayer doesn't matter the location and gradually you begin to see now there is peace that we can be happy i mean look at this covering a road a main road like this in a city like zaria and nobody comes to oppress you those of you who have stayed long in this city knows that you know that these things were not like that ah that people can shake their hands that's what happens when people legislate one of the chiefest way for dominion is prayers please i don't know how to make you believe this there's no such thing as i'm not called into that ministry if you are called to reign the first symbol of your legislature is the ability to pray not just for your needs but to be supplied the burden of a territory to pray until the purposes of god are located over that territory comes to pass do you know why prayer meetings have the lowest turnout in many churches it's an attack and sadly many pastors many so people don't like to pray it's a lie with all humility i think one of the largest gatherings after koinonia in terms of the the prayers here in koinonia is the tuesday prayer meeting you see people rushing happy to pray you know why there is a spirit of prayer and supplication is more than desire you don't pray just using desire you may start with desire i've taught you consistency draws the spirit responsible to you every time you are doing a thing consistently because you have your own human will are we together you can take alcohol willingly it may not be by the influence of a spirit it doesn't mean you you are an alcoholic no but by the time you are taking gulda every day one week two weeks the spirit of drunkenness is drawn to your consistency that's how prayer is most people want to receive the impartation of prayer before they pray let me give you a big secret your consistency you are always going behind that fence every night one hour two hours you go back you carry your small rechargeable one hour two hours one day something will happen to you i guarantee you you will stand there and be praying and the heavens will open you will check your time and see that it's five o'clock events begin to launch in your life one day you go to prayer and then you see somebody come to join you too you see this is how ministry starts i really feel I, and i don't say this in a condemning way i feel sorry for people who want to start ministry then they go and buy balloon they get a, a, a banner they get a, a posters they do offering bus offering bag they buy tray with water for the man of god and cheer and then they say come to our church no every church starts as a house of prayer those of you who god is calling into ministry let me tell you start calling people and say i'm starting a new church oh pastor femi you would like to come and visit maybe god is talking to you and you oppress people and say remember you are my classmate i mean i told you this thing right from 100 level so it's not new to you can you come and join me be the secretary you never start ministry that way every true ministry must register a track record in the spirit of a season of prolonged prayer non-stop i'm i'm telling you the foundation of a formidable ministry that is unshakable you must pray you must pray you must pray anything that attacks your prayer life is about to destroy your dominion did you hear what i said anything that attacks your prayer life i'm busy you know before i didn't have a job now i have a job and uh, i come back by nine o'clock if a thief holds a gun by one o'clock will you wake up or not if the thief says stand up stand up now otherwise i'm going to blow your head will you say thief let me tell you you came in the wrong day i came back from nine o'clock i mean i mean you too you know how nigerian jobs are they don't give us enough time can you come back in the morning you stand up why because there is you 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 already sense that thief has a gun holding it with one hand but there are spirits that fly around our territory 
and you snore your way until the scepter falls from your hand and you get up and talk and think that just because uh, you are confessing i change this ah, it takes prayer let's not mock ourselves hallelujah this is the pride that has destroyed many people who begin to see the anointing in their lives they just feel what is it this thing that you can do i can do it just give me chance and see listen let me tell you when you see people executing effortlessly they have paid the price in the secret place believe me believe me oh god is touching somebody now and you see somebody falling under the anointing you come with your own zeal and pride and say look god is the god of all flesh the, the curtain has been torn uh, you know left and right there's no priest again no mediator and and this is why many pastors mock themselves on stage we come up and stand bragging making our voices husky and god is here right now and uh, you're about to see what will happen here and at the end and you know members are very dangerous people they note everything you say you said the power of god will move so they are waiting at the end of it you try and say you people did not fast and then all these things and you say look this guy is it that you cannot play this keyboard because they think it's a charm clashing a cymbal and playing keyboard they are, they are they are charms like a genie that you invoke and people fall and usually they will find one light sister that can be shaking up and down say you stand up why do we do this listen power is real pay the price through prayer Pay the price through prayer. Write four things that prayer does in terms of dominion. Number one, prayer is responsible for building your discernment, your growth, and giving you direction. Prayer. Do you know I have discovered that over 60%, I'll repeat what I just said, but listen, over 60% of the challenges that befall men on earth is the issue of direction. Direction. What to do, where to go. Lord, should I be in Zaria now or should I leave? Lord, is this house your will for me or not? If the issue of direction is sorted out, many people will not be where they are. Prayer gives you access to discernment discernment to be able to test and sense the spirits behind operations and to be able to know how much the hand of god is in a system and a process so that you don't waste your time you don't have all that time prayer is responsible for spiritual growth look at me i will not boast of knowing everything about the kingdom but i want you to present one believer for me who is not a serious person of prayer but has grown so spiritually it's a lie it's impossible to pray and neglect the word because when you pray you must write something the holy spirit speaks when we pray if you have not had god for a long time it may not just be that your ears are blocked it may be that you have not you have not forced whatever is blocking your ears to be open discernment can be developed when you pray god speaks i don't mean prayer for two minutes in, in anger and annoyance and sleeping and waking up prayer with your heart heartfelt prayer lord you spoke to me about ministry speak to me what is wrong with this family nobody is rising nobody is succeeding the last person who would be great had a mysterious accident somewhere lord i'm making an inquiry i must find what is the mystery behind the wickedness in this family and all of a sudden the spirit of god starts speaking communicating to you get my message the voice of god speak to you many people do foolish things that's why a man of god can just get up and say i think that we should open five branches did you pray are you sure god was in it you know our fathers of faith used to ask and say is god in this thing it used to be like a little old school it's not old school though it's not old school no matter what price you will pay to ascertain that god is in what you are doing please i beg you in the name of jesus pay it to marry pay it i 
think I, I God gave me a brain. I feel like having 11 children. You better pray. You better pray. Pray. Don't let carnality drive us. We live. I, I'm very serious. Carnality has destroyed many people. We don't seek God for direction. We seek him when we have gone and messed up and it has backfired. We now run and say, God, why didn't you stop me? And God said, me? No, I gave you a will. I've already said, let them have dominion. If you return back to me, prayer is a sign of humility. It's a sign that you are aware that you are incapacitated. Prayer is a great sign of humility. Imagine that you make somebody, maybe a director in your company, and he never comes to your office to ask for questions. Never comes. You are telling him, if there's any confusion, please come to me. You call him after two weeks. Is there any problem? No, 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 boss. I'm, I'm okay. I mean, you just taught me. And then you go and stand and check his unit and see the rubbish he's doing. And say, why didn't you come? Say, boss, I've told you. Shabi, you say, if I need, I will come there. You are destroying that man's company and your pride. Prayerlessness is pride, though. It's not just sin. It's pride. Will I be able to live my life without prayer? Leading a ministry like this? You know, many of us is because we don't have any serious burden on you that has an eternal implication. Are we together? When you know that, let me tell you the truth. Ask those who are close to me. I pray to get topics. It doesn't mean I don't plan. But I sit down and I pray, Lord, please speak to me. Speak to me. Speak to me. The goal is not just to carry out ministry calendar, calendar events. The goal is to find out, make sure what you are saying is what the Spirit is saying. Because when you say what God is not saying, He cannot back you. Remember in the book of Ezekiel, is wherever the Spirit goes that the cherubims follow. You see that? Don't just come and bring nonsense and want God to back you. God is not a houseboy. We must respect him to prayer. If you are here and you have never joined the prayer department, even if it's for once for prayer, why don't you make it this Tuesday? Apostle, I don't feel like praying. That's why you should know your life is under attack. So one way is to go where there is a family of believers and catch the fire. Say in the name of Jesus, I receive grace. To return back to the place of consistent prayer how consistent is your prayer every day how many days every day we don't pray once a week we may take out serious time once a week we pray every day don't let some of this with all due respect some of these western jargons that has destroyed us you are in africa find out the history of africa the person who is a prayer warrior is still struggling to stand on his two legs. You that you are not doing anything now. You want a free job in one year, free wife, twins. What, what kind of demand in this world? Oh, come on. Pray. Take charge of climate. You get up in the morning, you are happy. You are going to take a serious trip. You are hearing that people are dying on the road. It's not to plant fear. You don't, you don't send any prophecy into your morning carelessness here and there we live our lives and we are victims of circumstances we must return to the place of prayer what of families that used to pray before and god promoted them a little no prayer again daddy it's time to pray for you as you are stupid if you come here again don't you know that i'm now the director see that see let me tell you any promotion and any lifting that steals your prayer life has affected you you better go back to god and create a system around your prayer truth be told there are some of us that may not have all that convenience to pray in the morning but you must find a time personally i'm a i'm a night person i have caught this mystery of night night prayers night silence concentration discernment fewer calls Shakatabata. oh god fire in my life fire in koinonia fire upon my enemies it's not our prayer life it's my prayer life my prayer life 
do you pray jesus prayed as the son of god as the son of god he didn't pray sometimes the bible say while it is early in the morning what will it see let me teach you please if you belong to any group here or any church or any fellowship talk to your people about prayer this is not just some 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 secret allocated to a pentecostal ministry if you don't pray you will be weak you will never be able to birth anything serious believe me you see something with satan when you don't pray he won't attack you yet satan is not a fool once he attacks you and the fire gets too hot you will run back and ask for forgiveness and start praying so he leaves you no prayer but you are still moving forward and then you laugh at those who are praying ah so far ahead and he leaves you it's like a meter you keep going down down there is a level you go down he will just close you there first now that he has closed you that's when you see that in one week everything just goes haywire in your life are we together one week couples getting married they plan they are praying praying the moment they get married they throw god away finally our fears have been resolved and the devil says i'm coming he left jesus for a season jesus for a season came back again through peter jesus said i see you get lost came back through Jews as jesus said okay i allow you the hidden wisdom of god that paul saw please we must pray every church service must have a section allocated for prayer no matter how small i don't care whether it is a it is a uh, a bible study session is whatever it is a prayer should be part and parcel of any serious church service for step by step you are leading me and i will follow all of my days why do we pray we pray to exercise spiritual influence over territories why do we pray as a system of dominion to exercise spiritual influence your church will never grow if you don't pray your church will never grow just because you are anointed no there are many anointed people who never experience growth you need to pray why because a great door and an effectual has been opened but many adversaries satan will try to paint pictures about you that discredits you before those who need your grace you must pray satan will veil the eyes of people to identify you you must pray don't assume pray it's better for there to be a prayer team and a worship team and no excellence in the church is very bad but at least it's better to have a prayer team and a worship team they are the two areas of attack in any church when satan wants to bring down a church listen there are two departments other departments are important don't get me wrong but he infiltrates their prayer team he infiltrates the place of psalmistry where the incense of worship is rising when satan cripples the worship team through bitterness offense are we together name it prayer people pride arrogance me too i am a i am a i i, I now have one small fellowship so don't talk to me anyhow if you are not giving me prayer to lead i'm not coming pride that's how it begins to bend We regulate the spiritual climate over territories through prayer. I shared with us, I think it was last week, of the vision that I saw of someone. I saw somebody fetching something on his hand. Like, you know how you fetch chaff and just blew it like this. And then I started seeing like sicknesses coming on people. We prayed last week here. Help me see that I saw it listen if you don't pray things will be happening above you you will never know and you will sit down 
Who can stand against the Lord? No one can. No one will. Who can stand against our King? No one can. No one will. Oh. Victory belongs to Him. Oh, the victory belongs to Jesus. Victory belongs to Him. I'd like you to blast in the spirit. Just, just shake up your spirit. Shake it, take it, abada abada. Leke, leke, te bras abada to sosia. Man braga to shote te totos. We are men and women of dominion. Two prayers. Sakata bashka abada tasia. E kretos ke te retos. We take charge of our climate. We take charge of our territories. We stay the hands of evil. Come on, pray, pray, believers. Shake off every evil, shake off every plot, shake off every agenda in the name of Jesus. Shabranda katala ko sodo bash kada maratai ekrata kate shakata mata bato sodo pe rekete kete kete ebraka tabara 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 mata braka to sodo pe ekreto sheke te 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 raka tabara tabara tabos. Hallelujah. Listen, let me believe us. Let me teach you something. The moment you sense your climate, the moment you sense a presence within your climate, the moment you are lying down in the night and you are sensing like there's someone else in this room, verify by blasting in tongues. Don't ask questions. Shabos Kataratosia. Rekete kashariata kata. Help that lady, please. No matter what time of the night, whether it is raining or there is sun or moon. Hallelujah. Hold on. How about dreams? Some bad dreams are not from demons. They are a sign. They are the angels trying to tell you something is wrong. Wake up, wake up. The spirit is willing. This body, you have drunk it with food. You have drunk it with carnality. No capacity to stand up and legislate. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. You're going to sit down shortly, but listen to me. If you don't have 
an allocation of special times to deal with spiritual issues in your life you are not growing you are not a spiritual person please hear me by god's grace and i say it with all humility i think with all humility i'll be one of the busiest persons in this place i travel all the time i don't pray at the same rate every day but you must allocate time time where if you if need be you switch your phone if you can keep it on keep it on but pray all this issue of i have a program somewhere i have a wedding somewhere is it not when you are alive i'm not talking of praying as a result of fear you are a king there is a scepter on your hand let them remember this word let them if you must sanitize your environment it is up to you fathers teach your children how to pray not just how to go to school teach them how to pray when you are praying carry them don't say they are small they are sleepy that's why we thank god for these our little ones if they sleep let them sleep while prayer is going hear me samuel was lying down close to the ark that's why he had the voice of god you don't hear the voice of god everywhere he said above the mercy seat below the cherubims there i will meet with you and i will relate with you intimately please sit down why do we pray prayer gives you the access to the heart of god and the heart of men let me teach you dominion why do we pray it gives you access hear me there are hardened men in our world who will never give you access to their heart there are wicked men who are holding what belongs to you they will never release it until god gives you their heart he said i will sing unto the lord for he has triumphed gloriously that was the song of miriam that the horses and his riders has been thrown into the sea don't sit down and wait and, and allow people to waste your time and talk nonsense a lecturer somewhere is refusing to let you go you have been begging he's not listening he's saying bring this bring that or come and meet me somewhere you are saying sir let me move it's because you don't understand dominion all right sir i've heard you Shatters, kata. Regete kotos carry your course uh, your your course form put it on the ground last in tongues and declare i may be your student in the physical but i'm a king in the spirit i decree and declare you must let me go massage kotabaya sign chapter 3 oh regete katakata the next day you walk to the office good afternoon sir hey you again well, well, well. as he's signing you are seeing the scepter is on your hands listen you are not the first to go through that problem if you don't know how to bail yourself out you can die in that problem and god is still on the throne there are few people who have experienced the victory that prayer brings people have experienced victories impartation prophetic words but that you prayed and turned the hand of things to work in your favor if that happens you will not backslide in prayer again some of us by the grace of god and with all humility we have been in places that only prayer could bring us out where you pray and you don't just pray alone you pray and tell the person what to say in the physical and you come out and you wait for that word look at how many of our parents not moving forward you are asking them what is wrong they say eh, you are seeing somebody was 50 years they fired an arrow his leg is not working and now your father is about to be 50 and all of you in the family are watching and laughing watching and laughing you don't watch and laugh i've shared with you my story my father's younger brother died like a chicken my father's elder brother died like a chicken i have seen my mother's obituary in the spirit i stopped it come on now refuse to allow things just move around in your life 
you have you have a dream and you are already seeing them sack five people in your family you get up and keep the dream in your stomach until the day they sack them then you come as a fake prophet and say i saw it what did you do about it listen prophets cried in the bible when things happen and they did not see they said lord why did you hide this from me god hid things from prophets if you wanted it to happen because he knew if they saw it they would stop it do you know consistent prayer will shake certain spirits out of you by themselves they are lying down there quiet and you are being deceived that oh don't worry you no spirit can find expression in your life and they are quiet there you continue praying every day sometimes when you are praying you sense and then you calm down continue a day will come have you not seen people praying by themselves they get to a level where that spirit can no longer stay the fire becomes too hot it must jump out of them that's what is happening to some of you now and i command those devils i speak standing by this authority i invoke the power of my secret place and i decree and declare that if there be any spirit in this place by the god of heaven i curse them now i curse their operation i curse them now i curse their operation If you let the devil he will kill you i tell you this thing the bible says resist the devil resist the devil it didn't say discourse it didn't say keep watching things happen no favor every door has closed over you you are seeing that is an attack will you wait until you die or will you pray and force the gates to open Can we pray one minute a favor provoking prayer and say i command the gates of favor open the way that dominion is enforced in the earth realm is by passing decrees the power of words write it down kings reign by passing decrees ecclesiastes chapter 8 and verse 4 media help us please we have to conserve time because i want us to pray kings reign by passing decrees the same way in the national house of assembly they sit down and legislate it passes first reading second reading and they pass it into law whoever violates that law has offended the federal government where the word of a king is there is what that means words if you are not a king your words don't have power the power is only for kings when they speak when you are royalty your words are not ordinary where the word of a king is there is power if you are not a king there is no power where the word of a king is passing decree is not just prayer passing decree is commanding realities to be established in the spirit that i decree and declare that nobody nobody becomes a victim of so 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 and so in this family that's a decree elijah passed a decree there will be no rain i make it so let me tell you something listen the diviners and the witches in our villages this is how they program the destiny of men they invoke decrees nobody crosses 25 in this family even when they die the decree is still in force until someone else who has authority and understanding comes and vetoes that decree there must always be a ruling statement in the atmosphere if you don't like the one over you change it change it change it growing up i didn't see very successful people 
from my paternal side there were not many successful people and the thing was like a curse able-bodied men but they never really become anything serious ah, the list of the list is and i said no way oh no way no way no way no way where the word of a king is there is power what have you said about your life or what have you allowed to be said about your life it matters who you say amen to it matters what you say amen to don't listen to any kind of nonsense and say amen somebody looks at you and say all of you are failures you don't have to confront them but reject it immediately in your spirit i am not a failure i am not no 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 no, no. i reject it ah marriage is now you see the way it is i'm only praying for you i hope you will like your marriage you may not confront the person because you rebuke an elder not in public but you keep quiet in your heart no way mine is heaven on earth i make that choice decrees kings reign by decrees let me show you something isaiah 43 verse 26 isaiah 43 verse 26 while the media is trying to give us that i want you to write this down hebrews chapter 1 verse 3 the bible says god upholds all things by the word of his power even god uphold, upholds the universe read with me the b part please from let us everybody is projected one to read let us plead together uh-huh go ahead declare thou that what so how are you justified in the spirit you declare if you say i am free God says, Satan, you had him, he's done. That's why the Bible says, let the redeemed of the Lord say so, not wish so. Let the unemployed who want jobs say so, not wish so. When confession is made with understanding, it is powerful. It no longer becomes vain babbling. My life is surrounded by words. I have built a circumference around my life with words like mysteries. number three sit down the third way that dominion is enforced in the earth realm is through creativity and innovation now listen carefully i'll just give us four and then we're done for tonight or maybe we'll just stop here exodus 35 please give us 31 to 33 exodus 35 many believers do not know that creativity is spiritual This is talking about a man we call in the Bible, a popular scripture, a man called Bezalel. Are we together? The tabernacle was about to be constructed and God had to move upon a man called Bezalel to supply upon him the spirit of creativity so that he will invent, he will innovate. Our world today, especially the church, we are bankrupt of creativity that's why we are not creativity is the system where you birth your seed to rule google apple amazon are we together all these people have demonstrated dominion through creativity you will never never be great in life if you rule alone your ideas must rule with you your seeds must rule with you you are too small to command dominion alone you must spread your seeds today zuckerberg is manifesting the dominion mandate because creativity afforded him to raise his seed in terms of a product facebook and it's all over and had filled him we are reading to 33 with the spirit of god in wisdom and understanding and in knowledge and all manner of workmanship or craftsmanship this is how to to dominate in your social environment the prayer that i've told you largely takes care of the spiritual climate decrees are spiritual now we are coming to this realm to manifest them you pray in the secret but there must be a physical equivalent to be able to match your dominion christians hear me this is where we miss it you pray and command the spirit of prosperity you pray and declare that i'm going to be a man of influence my family will never be small but then no creativity 32 and to devise curious works to walk in gold and in silver and in brass last verse 
and in the cutting of stones to set them and in carvings of wood and to make any manner of cunning work everybody say creativity listen bishop td jakes is an example of a man who has capitalized on the power of innovation and creativity to enforce dominion show me the products that are ruling the world that came from you what has come out from you by the grace of god today koinonia messages are seeds that have come out of this ministry seeds god's design is for kings to rule with their seeds to first your physical offspring but much more than that that which he has put within you must find expression when i look around and i see several ministries that are connected to us and i see what god is doing through them i am overjoyed because that's my seed when i look around when your book is going far that's your seed when your ideas are being executed and is blessing people is causing them to honor god and multiplying your influence that's your seed that's why i hate laziness laziness is anti-dominion mandate everybody say creativity when you talk about business invention coming up with products and influence the church is at the back we pray just like i said we fast just like i said but the spirit of invention is com almost completely out of the church we are behind in everything that is sociological we must change creativity the cloth you are wearing today is dominion through somebody's seeds versace gucci right angela galasso all of the designers in the world they are ruling through their seeds are we together bishop david oyedeko is helping to bring dominion to his seats somebody says i read his book and i'm being changed parents are your children are your seats rising to take over he said his seed shall be mighty upon the earth psalms 112 his seed shall be mighty his seed not have a mighty name a big name is not a big life if your name is bigger than you that's a serious problem because it's possible a great name is not a great life your name can be greater than you when the queen of sheba heard about solomon she assumed he only had a great name so she came to test him and her conclusion was half of this was not told me it's, it is important that you outgrow your name so that whatever it is people hear about you is only a tip of the iceberg the day they meet you they say my god creativity how many ideas are supposed to rise today who is eating because of your creativity who is going to school today because of your creativity where are the clothes where are the books where are the schools where are the businesses where are the conglomerates where are the value adding structures we almost don't have it in church we sit around and we brag and we're happy that's why i encourage one of my goals is to pastor men of influence i've said it like a national anthem i will not pastor weak people i'm not part of those people that tell lies and say it doesn't matter no that's why i'm a friend to politicians that's why i'm a friend to kings you don't have to be corrupted by them but you can stand i believe in influence are we together is your seed ruling show me the company you set up show me the books you wrote who is passing wayek because of something you have taught who is making reference to something that has come out of you are we getting blessed when you become a reference in an area your seed is ruling this is part of the dominion mandate it says be fruitful then you multiply how do you multiply they ask ali kodangote how many hours do you have in a day and he says multiply multiply i think eight hours by the number of workers i have that's how many hours i have in a day wise man no wonder he's a billionaire he has multiplied his time by creating seeds that are taken after him let me tell you something it is a cause to be the only one who can do what you do throughout your lifetime now 
God is a God of transference. At a point in your life, you're, you should be able to earn the right to now begin to pour yourself in someone else. A mother who has five children, none of them can cook. That's a bad testimony for a mother. A father who has children up to 20 has never taught them on finances, has never taught them on marriage, has never mentored them on being a man, just leaves them to chance. That's why many young people are not successful. You know why? There is no transference. No transference. In Jewish days, fathers worked with their sons. When they became teenagers, they said, hey, settle down. Let me teach you how to be a man. You don't guess it. I teach you. Manhood is responsibility. This, oh yeah, I allocate a farm for you. Go and work. But right now, as a student, if you are doing any other thing, they say, don't do any other thing, no, settle down school. But you can go abroad and be schooling and scrubbing toilets and they say, you're a very nice person. You see how we make people lazy. You see an able-bodied young man, a Christian, tongue talker, comes to stand in front of your house and say, I've not eaten. There are grasses everywhere. Grasses everywhere. Why don't you sit and say, let me see how I can buy a machine and then start weeding people's grasses for money and then employ one or two of these people and while they are working for me i'm having lectures your seed is ruling listen i want you to be seed conscious most of us all we know about seed is money your seed is everything that comes from you capable of reproducing your influence is your seed it doesn't have to be human technology has made it possible for us to spread our seeds so you write a book you sit down and you say look the rate of failure from secondary school to university is a serious problem i think there is something that the people within ss2 to maybe 100 level do not understand you come up with a book you release it that's your seed that's dominion are we together when you open a restaurant and i come and i'm eating when i'm eating your food that's dominion because it came from you a product of your creativity listen write it down i will never be lazy again in my life this this cultural massage that is given to adults that makes adults feel like children an able-bodied young man gets up 10 o'clock 12 o'clock he's snoring around the bed say don't worry just leave him he's a last born very soon that brother will look at a lady somewhere and have the gods to go and tell his parents he wants to marry see this is i don't have a problem this is why sometimes you see and i'm being honest i know their parents here this is why sometimes when young guys or young ladies go and meet parents and say i want to marry and the parents say oh god go and sit down first they get angry and say you are stopping my destiny but let's be sincere are you going to eat your fingers are you going to eat your fingers responsibility your seed apostle i don't have a job what did you read um i read physics education and you don't have a job why don't you open an extra moral center only five courses maths physics english uh, what was the fourth one chemistry and biology for them whatever it is you add five of them that's the only thing i'm doing and you mentor those people you charge one person ten thousand you, you trust God and pray and have 50 to 100 students. Will you beg for bread again? We want something for nothing. This laziness in Africa is a cost. Parents, please, I challenge you. Any of your child that is mature enough, tell him from today, listen, you are not just going to be getting free money after every month. Mommy, I need money. The next time I see grass in this house, there's no salary for you. It looks harsh, but you have to train them even if your children are prosperous they must be disciplined many lazy people will not like what i've said but that's why we keep marrying and giving birth to lazy people there is a dimension of dominion that comes through creativity don't ever say there is nothing i have to do you can cook who is eating your food you can make donut start in your room don't wait until you bring one hilarious budget of 900,000. Who do you think will give you the money? Start in your room. There are people roasting corn and God is watching them with honor and dignity. Very soon, they will rise up and make a kind of popcorn that nobody has seen. Dominion.
they start exporting it. We're about rounding up, but lay your hands on your head and pray in one minute. Lord, everything you have buried within me that I am to dominate with that seed, I prophesy it must come out. I command the books to come out. I command the programs to come out. Are you praying, please? Don't let the devil say you will not succeed. Do it and fail, but prophesy. Let the catering school come out in the name of Jesus. Let the exercise books come out in the name of Jesus. Let the award-winning tailoring um, um, outfit come out. Let the extra moral center come out. Let the business come out. Let the bank come out. Let the investment house come out. Hallelujah. Please sit down. I want you to know after today, I want you to go and sit down. Please. Especially if you are poor and broke and you are not doing anything. Don't just pray and say, God, when will you wipe my tears? That's a foolish prayer. Go and sit down. Find a good friend and sit down. And say, no, we have to do something. We are, Do it and fail. Failure does not kill. Do it. How much do you have? 100,000, 300,000. Let's have an agreement and sit down. At least you have 500, I have 500. He can buy one golf. We can buy a golf and start. Put it on the road. It's bringing 10 to 20,000 every week. We are starting. All this laziness around that people just do and say, I'm a king. You are not a king. Dominion through creativity. In fact, there is a message like that. You can get it after the, after the service. Some of you plot. And your plotting is unusually exceptional. Why don't you package it? Why don't you package it? Some of you sing. Worship team. Some of you are looking at me. God is telling you it's time. There are some of you. There is a day worship team will produce the album. But start writing songs. Write songs. How many songs have you written? Two. When will you write the rest? God is helping me. You are not serious. You are absolutely not serious. Are you not seeing in the body of Christ now? People are tapping into their innate creativity. I'm not only a man of God. I'm many other things. I'm a businessman. I'm a leader over people. I'm a mentor to people. Everything God put in me will find expression. There are books that will be written. There are many other things that will be done. Dominion. Dominion. Covenant University. Landmark University. Dominion Publishing House. One time I was watching Dr. Miles Munro's videos and he carried six books and he hid them. And he said, if there was no Dr. Miles Munro, there will be no rediscovery of the kingdom. There will be no spirit of leadership. Think how many corporations prosper today. The world is waiting for yours. Stop waiting on God. Be serious. Some of you started writing one book. God inspired it. You wrote one page and you just left it. Be serious. Why don't you get a recorder? Ah, I'm a public speaker. Start speaking. Don't wait until there are people. Speak on a recorder and listen to yourself and correct yourself. God will not bring you on stage when you have not been well trained. Are we together? There is a dimension of dominion that will come through creativity. There is a dimension of dominion the Aliko Dangotes and the, the, the Oprah Winfrey's and the Bill Gates and even in the body of Christ great men like the Papa Deboyes the Wisdom Center think how many things have come out of people you were never the word education comes from a Latin word to draw from within to draw from within not just to complete a number of courses are we together now our educational system we salute it but it's limited in many ways and one of it is in supplying stimulating creativity you must reinvent yourself there is no such thing as being educated you are learning or you are out don't say i'm educated you are either learning in an ongoing way or you are out make up your mind today 
that I will not be the one begging, inconveniencing people, running to people's houses. Sorry, I don't know if God is speaking to you that you should help me. Are you, you have been looking at me. You, you, you have to stop being a nuisance. There is a dimension of dominion. Our parents rejected it. Our siblings have rejected it. Make sure you do not reject it. That from tonight you will challenge yourself. What is that that you have in your hands? Train yourself. By God's grace, there are on common mentors in every area in this house whether it is in business whether it is in finance whether it is in leadership koinonia is a heterogeneous collection of professionals in very many areas you have not identified them because you are not passionate pursuit is proof of passion you must find out and search who can help me i, I have a passion for leadership who can help me not to sit and say when will they organize something to help us now it will never happen we like free things we are careless and callous and you know we have to challenge ourselves it is the secret of poverty secret of poverty to sit down and hope one day it will happen i know abba is it not the god of koinonia i know one day he will visit me you can dance all your life and remain the way you are fall down under the anointing roll up and down and get up you have commanded dominion realities are ready to be released in the spirit but there is no creativity no innovation next week is miracle service is it oh dear i would have added one more part it's too late there are two more things i have to talk about there is a dimension of dominion that comes through wisdom and understanding let me just state them quickly maybe another time we'll do a recap i really apologize wisdom and understanding that's the next point part of the ministry of the dominion mandate we dominate by manifesting wisdom and understanding wisdom and understanding wisdom and understanding it's a long scripture but proverbs chapter 8 we, we don't have time but i want you to read all of it he was talking about wisdom he said by me kings reign and princes decree justice wisdom personified and understanding speaking he says let's look at a few verses at least proverbs chapter 8 we're out of time but please just um bear with me for a few minutes and then we're done let's read verse 1 media please take note verse 1 and then we're reading verse 15 and 16 and 17 and 18 then we're reading verse 22 to 23 then we're reading verse 35 and 36 i'll help you in case you've forgotten let's start verse 1 then we are going to verse 15 16 17 doth not wisdom cry and understanding put forth her voice so these are spirits these are personalities these are not just attributes that men have are we together 15 now to 17 then we are going 22 to 24 verse 15 says okay by me kings reign and princes decree what justice 16 by me princes rule so how do you rule wisdom understanding and nobles even the judges of all the earth there's nobody walking in dominion who is bankrupt of wisdom and understanding 17 i love them that love me and those who seek me what you can seek wisdom late and not find it because it takes time 22 to 24 the lord possess me yeah 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 are you a christian the lord possess me what in the beginning of his way before the works of old 23 i was set up from everlasting from the beginning or ever the earth was that means before this earth concept came I was the mystery behind the dexterity of the earth 24 when there were no depths i was brought forth when there were no fountains abounding in the water i wish that we had more time we would have read everything that was there it was it was i mean it, it was 
all of but but our time is gone let's read verse um let's read verse 34 35 36 last three verses now 34 35 36 blessed is the man that heareth me wisdom and understanding watching daily at my gates waiting at the post of my doors 35 for those who findeth me findeth life and shall obtain favor of the lord last verse but he that sinneth against me help me wrongeth his own soul all they that hate me love death they have chosen to be defeated in life anyone who hates wisdom anyone who hates understanding is the same thing as you have signed and say you can shoot me anywhere you see me all they who hate me love death wisdom and understanding there is a dimension of the dominion mandate that requires wisdom insight into the systems of god and having the fortitude the faculty the comprehension the working knowledge of the principles and the mysteries of the kingdom knowing what to engage that is responsible for certain outcomes church growth or praise to wisdom and understanding there are keys you don't know it you will not experience it financial prosperity and increase is not luck there is a there is an exact technology to it influence has a system which of them do you know and which of them do you not know and then the last thing i'll talk about is legislature on the strength of the anointing and then we'll stop here yeah, we're going to pray there's no time there is a level of the dominion mandate that requires raw power power direct on sin direct on sin psalm 66 verse 3 say unto god how terrible art thou in thy ways through the greatness of thy power shall thy enemies do what submit themselves to you submit themselves to you submit themselves to you through the greatness of thy power shall thy enemies submit themselves there are supernatural dimensions that must be produced directly by the anointing the healing of sick bodies changing impossible things bringing the power of god to bear the bible is full of dominion that happened by the raw power of god the finger of god the bible says that he has broken the gates of brass and cut the bars of iron in sunder it takes power it takes power to reign in this wicked world the bible says the whole world lies in wickedness much more than prayer it takes power i was teaching the school of ministry students and um i was teaching them that one of the greatest advantages of a believer is your access to the anointing the anointing is a game changer it vetoes any and everything other factors are very important but show me a man who is lavishly anointed and i show you a man who can do good i show you a man who can walk practically in dominion acts chapter 10 and verse 38 how god look at the extent to which god anointed jesus of nazareth with the holy ghost and with power and the bible says he went about doing good you don't do good just by a sincere heart it takes power to do good it takes power to get demons out of people oppressing them it takes power to prophesy over people and say in the name of jesus christ i change your story and their lives change he says for i am a man under authority i say unto one go and he goeth i say unto another come and he comes jesus was speaking and he said verily verily i say unto you the works that i do ye shall also do and he says greater works greater works greater works greater works one of the ways we must exercise dominion over the earth is to be a manifestation of the supernatural the raw power of god on the scene blind eyes opening deaf ears being unstopped the crippled being healed you enter your house and you stay the power of witchcraft your presence that anointing that is within you 
what happens to others you are seeing that other people a calamity is destroying them and you come out of it in a supernatural way you compel men to find out when they threw Shadrach Meshach and Abednego in the fire expecting it to burn them the power of God was brought to the scene they saw a fourth man looking like the son of God and all of a sudden the king saw and acknowledged they threw daniel in the den of the lion listen when you enter the same trouble others enter and you come out that's dominion that's dominion that's dominion there's recession eating and killing and destroying people in nigeria and all of a sudden you arise with such strength and dexterity every time you do something uncommon the world will stand at an attention to see it the world does not honor common things brothers and sisters this mandate was given to us by god it is the way we cause him to come to the scene is the way we represent him though we are few we're surrounded by many who have crossed that river before this is the song i'll be singing forever the Lord. Holy is the Lord. Listen. Everybody say dominion through power. Say it again. Dominion through power. Many of you have received strong impartations in Koinonia, but you are afraid of exercising dominion through them. Either because you think you are not a man of God. So when someone is sick, you try my number, it doesn't work. You try a Jimmy's number, any of the heads of department, and then you get maybe any of the prayer leaders. And then you now call, sir, can you pray for me? One day you need to be angry. And let today be that day. That you go back home and your roommate says something is wrong. I always have someone oppress me. And you say, no, I, I have been anointed in Koinonia. I, I, there is a dimension of dominion are we together you lay hands on that person and say in the name of Jesus there are times that people come here and tell me their loved ones are sick I say give me your hands I lay my hands on them I say you carry that anointing and go with it our little children here return with testimonies I laid my hands on my father you must kill fear you must kill fear and go back someone says there is a problem you tell them look i'm a faithful member of koinonia the anointing there apostle may not have the time but i'm standing i'm representing god and i'm a good ambassador of this ministry let's pray if the person does not believe you that's all right and you pray some of you for the first time while you are holding that person he collapses like a pack of card and you too you are surprised you are starting you are growing your faith is being built you speak to the person he says do you know that i return back and from that day no oppression in my dream again the next time that person is in trouble he runs to you you see that we may not be many doing this but we are surrounded by many many william seymour alexander the way god's generals men and women who are doing it god is counting on us we cannot fail our generation god is counting on us all these facets of dominion when they find expression in you then you see that the kingdom can come dominion through prayers settling spiritual climates commanding the forces in the realm of the spirit to bow are we together dominion through creativity decrees you are sending words you are a speaking spirit commanding and influencing and shaping things and then your creativity your ideas your value giving you space in the marketplace nobody insults you and just says you're a christian and so you're a nobody if we're in church let's behave like church now that we're outside church we're a daft dummy you have nothing no you have something to offer to the world then the manifestation of wisdom and understanding wisdom is justified by her children the strange results in your life that become testaments to the fact that you are a custodian of keys given to you by the wisdom of God and finally dominion by manifesting the raw power of the Holy Ghost rise up on your feet we'll be singing forever 
Let me prophesy to you before we pray. I just sense in my spirit to speak over our lives. Many of us have lost things. Many of us have not seen the reality of dominion in our lives. But I want to speak to you. Everything that was lost shall be returned unto you. Everything that was stolen shall be restored unto you. Everything that was lost shall be returned unto you. Everything that was stolen, prophesy to yourself. Hey, everything that was lost shall be returned unto you. Everything that was stolen shall be restored unto you. Hey, everything that was lost shall be returned unto you. Everything that was stolen shall be restored unto me. Turn it into a prayer. My scepter restored. Dominion enforced. I declare it. I decree. Lift your voice and pray. The scepter, the symbol of authority. Zaza Sakato Shegete Bata. Brakatos Kelebariataka Shabaratosia. Everything, everything that was lost, everything I pursue, I overtake, I pursue, I overtake without fail, I recover, I pursue, I overtake without fail, I recover. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. I'd like you to pray and say, Lord, every level that has been designed that I should enter by now in the realm of the spirit, I command that I must enter now in the physical, financially, spiritually, in influence. Sapata Sakata, Latekato Soto Breketeketa, Shabaska Sasapatata, every dimension. Joshua Selman enter that dimension. Every spiritual dimension you are entering. Every dimension financially. Every dimension in ministry. Every dimension in influence. Sociologically, I decree and declare. Prophesy upon yourself. Prophesy upon yourself. Prophesy upon yourself. Shakoto soto koshe bakata. Leke teke teke te. Enough is enough. I take charge. I take charge. Hallelujah. Last prayer point. I want us to pray and challenge every force of darkness. I say I am back in charge. Back in charge, lift your voice and pray. Shabas Katatosh Lekatekate. I may have been a, I may have been a prodigal son, but I'm back in charge in the name of Jesus. Legislature by the spirit, dominion by the spirit. I create my realities, I create my possibilities by the anointing of the Holy Ghost. By the anointing of the Holy Ghost. By the anointing of the Holy Ghost. Shabato Sokoto Baratai. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Now lift your hands. It's time for you to receive that grace. There is the Spirit of the Lord. Isaiah 11, the Spirit of Dominion. Isaiah 11 there is the spirit of the Lord it's not just a name for the Holy Spirit it is a dimension of his work in a man the spirit of dominion is a rule thou I want to speak to you Shakato Sakata right now in the name of Jesus I prophesy that everything that has been above you I release an anointing upon you to rise above every challenge right now in the name of Jesus 
take that fire now take that anointing now take that grace now in the name of Jesus I decree and declare whatever you are struggling with right now that you've been trying to come out and it's like he's burying you by the spirit of dominion I bring you out of it now I bring you out of it now I bring you out of it now I decree and declare right now in the name of Jesus the unction for fruitfulness receive it right now nothing dies in your hands receive it now receive it now number two the grace for multiplication many of you have never brought anything out of you you are only eating the seeds of others i command that your seed begins to rule now in the name of jesus christ from today as you open your mouth to utter words i decree and declare there will be a speedy performance a speedy performance as you pass the crease in the spirit there must be a speedy performance I decree and declare many of you have learned secrets in koinonia but the grace for you to walk in it is not yet there i command every mystery you have learned i empower you to begin to live by them i empower you to begin to live by them i force them to work for you the mystery of exemption in the name of jesus the mystery surrounding success i release them to produce for you in the name of jesus finally i pray for you the mantle and the strange grace for the supernatural miracles signs wonders the gift of the spirit i decree and declare prophecy word of knowledge access to mysteries in the name of jesus take it now take it now take it now take it now strange dimensions of the supernatural strange dimensions of the supernatural power to heal the sick power to cast out devils in the name of jesus listen listen anyone fighting god in your life if you utter a word concerning them i declare that god backs you up immediately anyone who has added to the frustration of your family whether a spirit entity or a human entity right now i want you to agree with me i judge them by fire now i judge them now by the power of the holy ghost hear me i share with you a simple but powerful mystery when pastor jakes was sharing and he said they picked somebody from his position and makes him a deputy manager deputy manager with interviews on phone you went to school and you are intelligent is that how it is done let me tell you the blessing breaks the rules for you it breaks the rules for you yes when men say it cannot be done it breaks the rules the problem is that we are too carnal we have intellectualized life life is spiritual say it after me one more time shout it like you believe it life is spiritual all that you see is not all that there is those who are controlling this world are those who have an advantage of the spirit You are Yahweh, you are seated on the throne. You are Yahweh, you are seated on the throne. Tonight God is asking you, are you ready to stop struggling in life? 
let me tell you struggling is a cause if you ever convince yourself that God is the author of your struggle I am telling you now struggling is a cause it's a cause from the pit of hell you will never be able to serve God if all you are doing in your life is looking for money because money is not missing you were never supposed to look for it hallelujah you will never be able to serve God if you allow this mammon the spirit that takes the heart of men away from God to begin to pursue other things trying to look for earthly relevance there are people who want to build a house but they want to build it physically by putting blocks you will die trying to build that house because there is a spiritual dimension to everything give us James chapter 2 verse 26 I hope we'll be able to find it I'm reserving it for next week by the way next week Friday here is going to be a powerful vigil hallelujah yes next week is going to be a vigil it's going to be a time of prayer and worship we're inviting guests from all over now watch this the Lord showed me this mystery and it changed my life I shared it in Abuja I was reserving it to start the teaching next week but your hunger has tempted me to go to that scripture and let's let's touch it a bit Paul watch this oh, sorry James the apostle James was teaching on faith and works corresponding action is that true and while he was teaching on faith and works he just feared off and brought a powerful principle in an attempt to explain faith and work he he, he compares it with something he says for as the body without what a spirit now all of you watch this guy the only reason that i can interact with him is because there is a spirit is that true if the spirit leaves this body what happens i will reject the body all of you will reject the body are you getting me and we will have to bury him because it is a body though complete it has no spirit are you getting me now i want you media please keep it there keep it there so that we'll... i want you to remove the word us and just read just the first line to the comma are you ready want to read one more time one more time for the body without the spirit is dead it is said for the body of man for any material thing that does not have a spiritual force backing it it is dead for any material business without a spirit equivalent is dead for any church without a spirit agency backing it is like a dead body it says for a body without a spirit so the nation of israel was like a body without a spirit and he said joshua you will lose you need the spirit component and circumcision authorized the spirit when the realm of the spirit came they said let's go we can take jericho and with one shout this was what david knew that as big as goliath was he was a body without a spirit the other people were looking from the three-dimensional realm ah goliath was shouting and david looked at him he said i see a body but there is no covenant no spirit what is the force in the spirit backing you and goliath said am i a dog even if you fight me honor me and david said you are joking you don't know who is talking i'm not alone I, I, you are an uncircumcised see the word again see the word again you are an uncircumcised i would have been afraid of you i would have considered your threat if you were circumcised where is the ties that connects you to the realm of the spirit and he said i'm circumcised i may be weak but there is a government that backs me when you get this key my brother you will run as if satan does not exist i promise you i promise you this you can jump around for deliverance you can hop from everywhere 
but the body without a spirit is dead so your boss in the office knows this and there is a spirit that backs his chair you just get up with your your certificate and sit on that chair and it becomes too hot because all in that office is not just a chair it's a throne there are spirits back in it that's why the bible said they that knew their god they that have connected with a spiritual advantage they shall be strong shall do exploits rise from the realm of being natural and tap into the supernatural realm where the realm of the spirit assists you and your life will be nothing short of a wonder how many people listen I have given up on trying to do things by my strength because I know I'm wasting my time the body in the same way the next time somebody stands and threatens you that is a body without a spirit see no matter what talk people talk I only consider you if you are connected spiritually are you getting what I'm saying I will deal with you the body without the spirit is dead I will make sure you leave this job the body without the spirit is dead you only pay attention to a man who has risen beyond the three-dimensional realm because there is an assistance whether demonic or whatever are you getting me circumcision is that key there are many who will continue ah we have a an extent we are going to be touching on the matters of the kingdom next week friday i'll be showing you certain secrets of the kingdom that it will make you almost like a drunk man you will get up and jump and shout tonight all we are doing in this miracle service is by an ancient mystery crying and asking heaven and say lord behold the sick people and already in this place there are more angels the arsenals in the realm of the spirit are more than what you know that's always what happens whenever you see me come to sit down i smile around the stage i would have died of hypertension if i'm responsible for your healing but we have made arrangement already we are covered oh yes absolutely we are covered heaven is jealous jealous to protect his own because God's designated portion listen when you steal your tithe you have not only destroyed your destiny you have stolen from your children every time you don't tithe just know that your firstborn is in trouble if you don't do it again you are affecting your children because he said i will pour you a blessing you will not have room in other words no matter how greedy you are your lifetime cannot exhaust it so when you steal you have endangered the destiny of your children god's portion if anyone ever told you tithing is all about money that person lied to you or was sincerely wrong tithing has nothing to do with money is the law of open heavens let me surprise you if your tithe is 10,000 and you carry 1 million and give charity foundation and you don't tithe that 10,000 you are operating under a closed heaven don't convince yourself that because you gave 1 million the heavens is open it is called due process I'll teach you next week there is a protocol to spiritual things are you getting my point tithing is what opens your heavens and then anything you do under that open heavens will prosper if you like carry one billion give charity organization give for the building of church if you are not a tighter i guarantee you the bible says your heaven shall be brass and your earth iron all of them are conductors of heat get set for heat in your life when the heaven is open if not if for nothing we know there is ventilation fresh air the wind comes but when your heaven is brass and your earth is iron many of us here no matter what prayer happens in this that's why we took the communion the devourer is authorized 
to destroy anyone who is not spiritually circumcised the devourer is not a demon the devourer is a principality even jesus christ acknowledged them that's why he said he is the head of principalities it destroys men's lives on legal basis this earth is too wicked for you to allow chance no i pray for people all the time people with cancers hiv tuberculosis communicable diseases imagine if i refuse to be faithful i would die like a chicken because most times i lay hands on people and there are medical doctors here they know that some of these things are physically not healthy but i'm circumcised my goodness you invoke my name in a shrine both the invoker the invokee and the ordinance it they will burn to ashes ashes no matter how mad a man is he doesn't enter fire by mistake he can cross the road and you say he's a madman but when he sees fire he fears off when heaven backs you let me tell you your life becomes a wonder even to you this ministry is a wonder to everyone not just because we are so smart we are just stupid enough to involve the realm of the spirit because by the arm of flesh shall no man prevail you reign you ancient zion's king kadosh kadosh you are mighty on your throne oh sing oh fountains of the deep cry out kadosh you are mighty on your throne Mighty on your throne, you are 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 mighty in this place, you are mighty in this place. You are mighty in this place. You are mighty in this place. You are mighty in my life. 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 Hallelujah. We are going to pray just two prayer points and then I'll begin to minister. You are mighty in this place. They that are with us are greater. Greater, greater, man toskala bandigalia. There shall no man be able to stand against you all the days of your life. Rababa Prayer point number one. Oh God, by the blood I cry for mercy. Where I've allowed the devourer, I have stolen from my tithe your designated portion. I've allowed the devil deceive me that the tithe is a gimmick by preachers. Now I realize and I ask for your mercy. Lift your voice and pray. Inside and outside. Lift your voice. Your tithe is your spiritual circumcision. 
Hallelujah. Prayer point number two. Ask for fresh grace. Oh. And make a vow that you will never miss out on your tithe again. Make, make a vow. Not by fear. Not by revelation. Pray, Koinonia. Pray, Listen, I give you an assurance and I pledge the name of the Lord upon this. If you take what I've shared tonight, for many of you, this is your secret, it's your password to a mysterious level of lifting. A level of lifting that will surprise you as much as surprise those who are your spectators. God's portion, the time his designated portion that makes creation to walk in your favor makes your enemies to walk in your favor mysterious but powerful consistent hallelujah just one more prayer and then we'll trust to see the mighty things that the Lord is going to do I want you to lift your voice in one minute we are going to pray in the next five minutes listen i want you to confront the gates of your destiny and i want you to pray and say you must open up this night lift your voice
Alléluia. Alléluia. Let me just add one more prayer. Because I see the angels of the Lord already moving. Let me just add one more prayer. Listen. I want you to pray. Listen. There are giants on every mountain. Every one of us is holding a prayer request. Because there is an aspect of your life the devil has refused to let you go. But tonight, I want you to lift up your voice and prophesy to the heavens and challenge those powers and say, I must go tonight. Lift your voice. Inside and outside. Cry. I must walk away. That terminal disease must die today. That cancer must die today. That HIV must go today. That barrenness must go today. That stagnation must go today. Pray. Something is happening in the realm of the spirit. Pray. Something is happening in the realm of the spirit. Pray. Something is happening in the realm of the spirit. Oh 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 Hallelujah. Now, before I begin ministering, please, can I have that family if they are here? The family that came with the poison person. Are they here? Please, let's save time. If they are here, just signify by wave of hand and then run out here quickly. There's a lot to do tonight. Hallelujah. Praise the Lord. While that is happening, I want everybody to follow up on your prayer request. If you are here to write, please one minute so that when we begin to flow we just move and we don't stop so you have one minute while you are praying in tongues just write your prayer request very quickly so that when it's time to pass it you just pass it very fast make sure you don't keep silent Write the issues that have threatened you and watch the God of heaven turn them into testimonies. What can I do? I can leave without you. I can leave without you. So tell me, what can I do? I can leave without you. I can leave
father in the name of your son jesus christ we pray that there will be a reign of miracles a reign of deliverances a reign of impartations a reign of breakthroughs we forcefully advance tonight we compel gates to be open we compel doors to be open we compel every handwriting of darkness to give way in this place tonight and we declare that this atmosphere is completely under the influence of the holy spirit and that everybody here within this vicinity comes under the influence of the spirit lord that no one will walk out of this place without a touch of god hallelujah hallelujah now i'm going to begin to minister to us and while i prayed for this in the course of the week again and again i kept seeing please pay attention can i have strings strings strings, strings? hallelujah i kept seeing again and again spirits watch this spirits leeching onto people this is what i kept saying like a man sitting on a man's shoulder i saw this over many people and i said lord what is the meaning of this and the lord began to re to reveal to me that these are the spirits that cause setbacks upon the lives of men and upon the lives of families and the lord said when i come up he said the first thing i should do is dislodge those powers dislodge those powers i saw them like a man like a child will sit down on the shoulder of another bringing a resistance to your destiny and i'm about to pray for you right now there are so many people under the sound of my voice so many people under the sound of my voice they must go heaven is here to assist us lift your hands everyone inside and outside there will be such mighty deliverances outside by the anointing of the holy ghost hallelujah i even see someone i'm um, uh, suffering from severe migraine but then that migraine you think is just sickness we are about to make a shout brothers and sisters this shout is like the sling of david it looks ordinary but there is a circumcision upon it it's a shout that rises beyond the earth realm it's a shout that rises beyond the intelligence of men it's a shout that is like a battle sound to the angelic it's like a battle sound because your destiny must open up right now there will be mighty deliverances mighty deliverances hallelujah i'm going to pray for us and then at the count of three we are going to shout that name jesus my goodness i sense the anointing of the spirit heavy the power of god will fall upon many of you in a mighty way and you will see this spirit some of you are already feeling uncomfortable it's the power of god especially many outside there will be mighty deliverances lift your hands now thank you jesus father in the name of your son i pray right now and i sound an alarm in the realm of the spirit i decree and i declare by the anointing of the holy ghost that the fire of the spirit oh restrain not your hand oh mighty one we pray that you arise as a man of war there are destinies at the mercy of your touch i pray that by this shout oh god there be a visitation that by this shout oh god everyone here under any spirit help them please help them bring them out everyone here under any influence as we shout let fire catch them and visit their foundations and i command every power that at this shout you will let god's people go inside and outside one two three shout that name
I command witchcraft powers of darkness right now right now in the name of Jesus inside and outside inside and outside inside and outside the fire of God is falling on people falling on people I cause witchcraft I cause witchcraft I cause witchcraft in the name of Jesus lift your hands Malatata I'm seeing altars on fire that's what I see in the spirit please bring them out altars on fire one more time we are going to shout physically many of you will feel the fire physically physically right now in the name of Jesus one two three Jesus oh yes that's fire that's fire that's fire of the Holy Ghost I begin to speak the Holy Ghost will locate them I'm seeing ladies ladies a man comes to you in the night and sleeps with you right now by fire oh God locates them right now right now right now I cost that spirit I cost that spirit ladies ladies a miracle is happening to sister I cost I'm seeing a family in the vision of the Lord. Everyone in that family has been tied down by witchcraft. Lord, where is that person in this place? Inside and outside. Right now as I speak, the power of God comes upon that person. Right now, wherever that person is, in the name of Jesus, in the name of Jesus, inside and outside, the power of God comes upon that person. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Lift your voice in one minute. This is what the Lord is telling me. As we begin to pray, miracles will start happening. Lift your voice and break every chain holding you down. Go ahead. This is what God is telling me.
your hands lift your hands i hear my spirit families families god is stepping into families there are altars there are altars over families that are about to be broken as you are standing right now god is going to be visiting your family at that shout again inside and outside make sure you are participating inside and outside we are going to shout that name as you shout the name of jesus families i see altars on fire are you ready now father any family under the yoke of bondage as they shout this name let there be a visitation one two three Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Lift your voice. And ask him for a visitation again. Something serious is happening in this place. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Lift your hands. I'm hearing marital spells. Marital spells. Please lift your hands. Listen. Hear me. Something mighty is about to happen here. The Lord is ministering to me that there are people who there are spells tying down their marriages whether single or married right now lift your hands as i begin to speak the wind i see like a wind a whirlwind moving across this auditorium oh. it will catch up with some people right now where are they oh god visit them right now in the name of jesus one more time we will shout that name wherever they are one, two three jesus I'm hearing a name Dorcas. Dorcas, a miracle is coming. Dorcas, an altar is on fire. And I'm hearing the Lord telling me a miracle. Dorcas. Dorcas. Come and stand here. Hallelujah. 
who is Israel I'm hearing a name Israel Israel the Lord is ministering to me tonight he must let you go let you go hallelujah now the Lord is showing me a woman you are here you had a miscarriage there is a woman here who had a miscarriage it's like you had a child and you lost the baby and the Lord is telling me please help them those under the anointing so that we don't this place is not rowdy listen let me tell you something the anointing of the spirit does not make the difference the anointing is the difference the anointing does not make the difference without the anointing we are just making noise here but by the anointing and i'm telling you this no matter where you are whether you are inside here or outside or right at the back I want you to connect because God is visiting you. And every one of you must have a touch. Dorcas. Where is your mother, my dear? Huh? I'm not based in Zaria, sir. No, I'm not saying. Where is she? Mina. She's in Mina. We have to pray because the Lord is bringing a mighty breakthrough for your family. Do you believe that? Do you believe that? Hold my hands. Father, change the story of this lady by the anointing of the Holy Ghost. In the name of Jesus Christ. As I hold your hands, I declare in the name of Jesus Christ that the Lord set you free. Madam, look at me. Where is your husband? At home. Huh? He's at home. Why didn't he come with you? I don't know. Because there is a breakthrough that is a portion for him in this meeting. Amen. But I'm going to pray for you. You believe that? Yes, sir. You believe that? Yes, sir. Because this is delay. Yes. I'm seeing delay in your yes, family. Sir. Serious yes, delay. Yes, sir. It's even becoming an issue of argument between you and your husband. Yes, sir. I'm seeing two of you arguing. Yes, sir. But the Lord is saying he's bringing rest to your yes, family. Sir. This Amen, night. sir. In the name of Jesus Amen. Christ. Father, let there be rest. Rest for her. In the name of Jesus Christ. You are Dorcas. Where is your mother, my dear? You. She stays in Kaduna. Why? The same way you are crying is how I'm seeing your mother crying in the realm of the spirit. And the Lord is ministering to me. The Lord is saying, why wouldn't she cry when the load is too much on her? Look at me. Like we shared, tell your mother to get back into faithfulness in tithing. Are you hearing what I'm saying? And even you, yourself, otherwise you will keep seeing repeated hardship. But hold my hands in the name of Jesus. Lord, bring rest to this lady. Bring rest to her in the name of Jesus Christ. Can, where is the woman that had a miscarriage? There is a woman that had a miscarriage. And the Lord is asking me to minister to her. We may not be able to minister to everybody, but there is, there is someone. Please make sure you don't sit back. The Lord is ministering to me about that person. So that we'll just, we'll just pray for her. Dogara. Dogara. I'm hearing a name Dogara. Dogara. Who is Dogara? You? Your name is Dogara. Yes, sir. Where's your dad? He's at home in Kaduna. He's, he's at home. In Kaduna. We have to pray for him. What I'm seeing will never. If they are permitting anything, please and please carry them out of well, we're about to pray please don't worry in the name of Jesus I lay my hands right now over and I cause that spirit that wants to bring accident in the name of Jesus it will not come to pass we cancel it right now by the blood of Jesus Christ amen madam I want to pray for you the way I'm holding your hands that's the way the Lord is saying I should tell you he's going to begin to hold your hands and that he will cause you to move forward in your life the Lord is saying, I should tell you, he's bringing restoration to your life. And he's bringing joy to you. In the name of the Lord Jesus Christ. Let it be. You are the one with miscarriage. Why did you sit back? Now come. There's nothing embarrassing about it, madam. This is a family. Because I'm seeing another one happening and we must pray for you. Yes, sir. 
it's happening again. We have to cancel it. Huh? It's not a normal thing that you are having miscarriage because there is a spirit that oppresses you. Huh? And that's what is responsible for that miscarriage. It's not just about praying, praying and saying, pray for me. You understand? It takes the anointing of the Holy Spirit. You will give birth to a baby boy. Hallelujah. Father, in the name of Jesus Christ, I pray that this family will experience your touch. Madam, lay, lay your hands on your stomach. Father, there will not be miscarriage again in the name of Jesus. That's right. I see the spirit. Let her go right now. Right now, release her completely. I set her free. Lord, you showed me a baby boy. Confirm your word by the power of the Holy Spirit. Why are they here? Dorcas, your name is Dorcas too. Your name is Dorcas too. Your daughter's name. Just stand and pray for all of you. You are Israel. I'm going to pray for you. Are you a student? We have to pray because I'm seeing the devil attacking your academics. Attacking your academics very seriously. So that they will not begin to tell you your scripts are missing. Huh? And then they will implicate you in the malpractice. The Lord is asking me to minister to you. Father, in the name of Jesus, I declare by the anointing of the Holy Spirit that this is broken. You're all Israel. And I'll pray with you. Let her go right now. I curse you by the God of heaven. Release her right now and let her go. Right now. In the name of Jesus. I'm looking at this woman but in the realm of the spirit all I'm seeing is a large snake. That's all I'm seeing moving around. In the name of Jesus Christ. Where's the usher? Ushers. Lay your hands on this lady. Just what I'm I curse that spirit. You must release her right now in the name that is above all names there is no hiding place the light of god is against you in the name of jesus christ there is no hiding place for you by the blood of jesus christ you must release this woman is a spirit of death let her go right now in the name of jesus christ father may they experience your touch in the name of Jesus Christ. May they experience your touch. In the name of Jesus Christ. May they experience, I curse that spirit. Let her go. Let her go right now. In the name of Jesus Christ. Your baby's name. In the name of Jesus Christ. I declare by the power of the Holy Spirit. There is liberty for this boy. There's liberty in the name of Jesus Christ. There's liberty. Hallelujah. Now, all those who were brought out here under the anointing, I want to I want to speak to them now. Don't worry. Everyone out here, I speak to the spirits that are tormenting you. You know my voice. I represent the most high. At the count of three, leave them and go. Right now. One, two, go, go, go. Out of them. Out. Out now, never to return. At your Lord, live your life, live your destiny. Restoration of virtue, of grace. I cost that spirit from its foundation. I cost it from the blood of Jesus. Hallelujah. All those who are trusting God for jobs, lift your hands. I see a strange anointing in this place. Please, don't withhold your hand. Don't withhold your hand. There is an anointing. There is an anointing. Sister, you looking at me, rejoice. I see an appointment letter given to you. You, this lady looking at me. I'm talking to her. You are turning back. You. Come, 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 come. I see an appointment letter given to you. There will be mighty miracles of jobs. Hallelujah. Come. This is the person I'm talking about. Because I was praying, and before I would even start, I saw them handing over to you something that looks like an appointment letter. Right? You believe me? 
you believe me you will see it and you will stand before God's people to testify in the name of Jesus Christ I pray the Lord says I should tell you he's rolling away your reproach madam the reproach of many years is being rolled away in this season that's what the Lord is saying I should tell you the reproach of many years is being rolled away I'm seeing like a baller that's what I'm seeing a trash place where they pour dirt and I'm seeing a new seed shooting out and that's what is that's that's like a type of your destiny and the Lord is saying I should tell you he's rolling away the reproach from your life in the name of Jesus lift your hands and let's release miracle job if you don't believe in it put down your hand command you by the blood of Jesus you foul spirit you have oppressed this body in the name of Jesus I break your covenant I break your ordinance there is a strong spirit that has been oppressing this lady it's not just her can you look at how many people holding one tiny lady I curse you now I curse you I curse you by the God of heaven and I curse you by my office in the name of the Lord Jesus Christ. I curse that power. Let her go now. Right now. Release her destiny. Release her family now. By the blood of the eternal covenant. She's free. Go. Release her now. In the name of Jesus Christ let me tell you something listen listen people of God don't think we're playing games here I know you may see some of the things happening these are the powers that have tied down men's life it's not solved by counseling you are just moving in the physical yet in the realm of the spirit you are bound we are not embarrassed we are never embarrassed to set people free because that's what Jesus said there's got to be a way of setting people free. Hallelujah. Father, jobs now. In the name that is above all names. I want you to receive it as a prophecy over your life. Lord, I declare. Everyone called jobless here. By the favor of God, I terminate joblessness right now. By the favor of God, I terminate joblessness right now. Anyone who has applied for any job, I compel them to call you. I compel them to call your loved ones. I compel them to favor you. here called Agnes Agnes I'm hearing a name Agnes the Lord is ministering to me about one Agnes we we'll begin to pray for the sick shop Agnes I'm hearing the name Agnes God is ministering to me he wants to bring deliverance to the family of Agnes do we have anyone there Agnes Your name is Agnes. Your name too. Your family member. Okay, I'm going to pray for you. We'll begin to pray for the sick after this. Father, in the name of Jesus, bring breakthrough for this family. You showed me that you're visiting this family. Go ahead and confirm your word with signs following. In the name of Jesus Christ, I pray for you. Whoever is Agnes in your family, let there be a miracle in the name of Jesus. I want to begin to pray for the sick, but I'm seeing a very serious situation here. There's someone here with a swollen leg. I don't know who that person is. Your leg, mysteriously, pain.
telling you and it looks it's, it's like swollen this is what i see in the vision that the lord is showing me who is that person your leg is swollen where is it which of the legs look what look if if the devil you remember i told you this a body without the spirit look what is happening to this girl and then you just come and marry her because you think you want a wife are you seeing that is is if it can look at one two three four five people holding one person imagine what it would do to someone's destiny I say this without a sense of cynicism many of the people that God is setting free attend churches every week look we need to restore the power of God in our churches and stop playing games with God because God's idea is not just for one platform hallelujah swollen legs no 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 don't, you don't you don't have to madam you too. your legs for how long what's the situation with her is her leg swollen okay hold on she can't walk baby how are you hallelujah please help us with the mic who brought her okay no it's okay it's okay, it's okay. what's your name Annie, your name is Anne. Agnes, Alice, your name is Alice. You can't walk. You can walk, but your leg is bent. Oh my goodness, look at such an innocent lady. Lord, have mercy on this lady. In the name of Jesus Christ, I pray that the Lord will visit you. In the name of Jesus Christ, let her go back when I begin to pray for the sick and we let them come out. I'm just ministering to special cases. Leg. Your leg all of you who had a dream in a dream is like something was shot it's like i don't know if it was an arrow i'm seeing something that looks like a dream and something was shot on your legs if the person is not i'm seeing someone who had that dream it's like i don't know if it was like a gun or something or an or a, 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 a sharp object i know that it was it's like it was shot to your leg Something beat me when I was sleeping. I just broke up and screamed. So blood was coming out of my legs. I, I'll pray for you, but this one I'm seeing, I just want to follow as the Holy Spirit is directing me. It's like, it, it looks like a gun or something sharp. Huh? I was shot in the realm of the Spirit. In my dream. You were shot? Fired at you? Yes. And what happened to you? I only I prayed when I woke up. You prayed when you woke up. The Lord is going to set you free. I know that I've talked to you once, but truly, truly, there is a spirit of delay and stagnation in your life. Because you love God, and God is going to use you in many ways. Not just in the area of the anointing, but even in the area of finances. But as it is, there are many things that are not moving in your life. Lift your hands, let me pray for you. Father, in the name of Jesus, the reason why you redeem is so that we will be free. I pray that you set this gentleman free by the anointing of the Holy Spirit. Everything that was fired on your leg in Jesus' name, I cursed it. In Jesus' name. What's happening to you, madam? My leg is swollen. Your leg? Yes. What happened? It's just paining you or it's swollen? It's paining in me. It's a, for me to stand or to walk. Almost two years. It's broken for me. Almost two years. Which of the legs? This one. What can't you do? I, I can't stand. You can't stand straight. It's a problem for me, yes. Is it that it's shorter than another or what was the issue? It's not shorter than another. Okay. It's the same. It's you catch believe? food. As I'm standing now, it's catch huh? food. Why is she here? She's your daughter. My father was shot in a dream by an arrow. It, according to my dad, it entered his thigh and came and out came through out. the other side. This is thigh. the person I'm talking about. Yes, and it, huh? it caused a physical wound on his side. 
up to present this kind Where of is he? Is he here? He's in Lagos, sir. He's in Lagos. Yes, sir. You believe God will touch him? Yes, sir. When I pray for you, call him and tell him yes, that he's been prayed for. Yes, sir. Ah, yes, because sir. this is witchcraft. Where are you from? I'm from Benway State. What's your name? My name is Kate. Kate. Yes, sir. From Benway State. Hold yes, my hand. Father, visit this family. You have revealed this in the name of Jesus. I cast this witchcraft. Let it leave your father never to return by the anointing of the Holy Spirit. Let it leave your father never to return by the anointing of the Holy Spirit. In the name of Jesus Christ, I pray. Madam, you believe Jesus will heal you? Yes, I do. You believe with all your heart? Yes. Madam, what's your situation? I have nail pains. Since Me. I, yes, since I feel sick, they used to swell up. Since so I you... Since I was sick for six months, they used to swell up. But now, I can't walk with them. Hearing sharp pain. Where? Where is the sharp pain? Okay, how about you? My leg is swollen for five years. Five years? I cannot stand for Where is which one is swollen? Oh, I see. You can't stand. I can't stand for long. For a long time. Mama, how about you? Two months now. I started to leave this leg. Two two months? Yes. What's happening? You have arthritis. Yes. Who else? Who again? Leg problem. Leg problem. All of you, I'm going to pray for you too. Your legs yes. swollen. Beat me last oh, you are the one who said something beat you. Ah, you are a worker in this place. Let's challenge that devil. She's a worker in this house. There is an immunity. Father, in the name of Jesus, I declare that this will never return to her again. In the name of Jesus Christ, never return to her by the power of the Holy Spirit. I'm going to pray for you, and I want you to check yourselves after I pray for you. In the name of Jesus, sister, five years your leg has been swollen permanently like that. Have you gone to the hospital? What did they tell you? Nothing was wrong. Eh? Nothing was wrong. Nothing is wrong because when a thing is spiritual, no matter what happens in the physical, you may not be able to get an equivalent. Um, a, a something to be able to treat. But Father, in the name of Jesus, we cause witchcraft. This is like right? In the name of Jesus Christ, I command freedom, freedom for your legs. In the name of Jesus, I break the power of witchcraft. Mama, I pray for you right now in the name of Jesus and by the power of the Holy Spirit. I pray for you right now. Every wicked spirit leaves you right now. In the name of Jesus Christ. Lay your hands on your chest. The Lord is bringing you deliverance right now. In the name of Jesus. This is witchcraft. For five years, I'm seeing a spirit. Go! Go! In the name of Jesus. You can't remain in her. The swollen leg, I command the swelling to go down. In the name of Jesus Christ. In the name of Jesus. Mama, I pray for your leg. In Jesus' name. I pray for your leg. That's where the pain is. Just lay your hands there. In the name of Jesus Christ, I cause the pain by the power of the Holy Ghost. In the name of Jesus Christ. Please check yourselves. Check yourselves. Check yourselves. Do what you couldn't do. Do what you couldn't do. And tell me if there's any improvement. How many of us came here either for ourselves or for our loved ones to be healed? Specifically in the area of healing. Let me just see your hands. Inside and outside, can you just wave it to the Lord? How many of you came here to be healed? Okay, very quickly, while the worship team leads us in a powerful worship session, want all the sick people to make their way right now. Just, just guide all the people that are under the anointing. Just shift them. Don't drag them around. Please, let's do that very quickly. Make your way out and just stand in a straight line and trust God for a miracle. There is power in the name of Jesus. There is power in the name of Jesus. There is power in the name of Jesus. And it will break every chain, break every chain, break every chain. Break every chain. There is power in the name of Jesus. There is power in the name of Jesus. There is power in the name of Jesus. Break every chain. Look 
how many people are trusting God for healings and miracles. I sincerely pray with all my heart that every church and every assembly of God will permit the power of God to operate in their place. It is not a thing of pride to have so many, look at, literally, maybe hundreds of people right outside. There is a long queue and we'll have to minister to these people. It's not God's idea to have one superstar. It's just that many people, especially men of God, are unwilling to press into the dimensions that bring them to the possibilities. We are going to do this very, very fast. All of you who are sitting, make sure you are connected and um, you are participating. While we are ministering to the sick, I want you to pass your prayer request. Ushers, you can walk around. Please make sure all those outside, even those on the roadside, make sure that we receive their prayer request because I'll be laying hands on it immediately afterwards. Myself and Pastor Jax will be ministering to you. Whatever your challenge is, I want you to believe God. While you're standing, lift your voice and begin to say, Lord, I will not return back with this sickness. In the name of Jesus Christ. Thank you, Jesus. Thank you, Jesus. Father, I stretch my hands over your people. Let your healing power deliver and strengthen The Lord is healing someone on pile. I'm seeing someone that has suffered pile for a long time. The Lord is healing you right now. You may be in the healing line, but the Lord is healing you right now. Hallelujah. Please make your way. Make your way. It doesn't matter who lays hands on you. There is a corporate anointing in this place. Hallelujah. Please, as soon as we lay hands on you, just go this way very quickly. There are people right to the back outside so that we'll hurry up. And there are still other things we need to do. Praise God. what is wrong with you just a laying on of hands the anointing of the spirit is like a drug the moment it enters your body it begins to work and it brings you healing you will notice that some people are standing for healing but as soon as hands are laid on them devils are coming out because they are the causes of these infirmities
can't walk for how long? No, no, no. What's wrong? For how long? You were born like that. Just like that. Let's pray and watch what God will do. Hold my hands. Hold my hands. Can you hear me? Father, if never you could not walk by your own, you will fall. Are your legs strong enough? Lord Jesus, is this not why you died? Did he not help you? He came here believing you. You have made this place a place of healing and miracles. Look at the condition of this brother. The legs. Look at me. Leave him. Remove your hand from him. Look at me. Have you tried walking before? Huh? Lift your leg. Try lift it. Lift it. Lift the other one. Lift it. Lift it. You are mighty. Look at me. Just stand behind him so in case he wants to fall, you hold him. Look at me. See, just look at me, not your legs. Look at me. Come. 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 Just come. Don't think of how it will happen. Come. 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 Come on, you celebrate are mighty Jesus. Look at on this. your throne. Completely the legs are open. Jesus, Jesus. If you are yet to pass yours, please just do it quickly. Can we all rise? As many as can rise, please, inside and outside. It's a very prophetic moment right now. Jesus, Jesus. My heart will sing. Yeah. No other name. No other name. Jesus, 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 my heart will sing, my heart will sing, no other name, no other name, Jesus, 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 my heart will sing, my heart will sing, please those outside can we have it quickly? No other name, Jesus, Jesus. Hallelujah. We just have five minutes to do this. Listen, I assure you, this is the place where God answers prayers. Hallelujah. I may not be able to minister to everyone individually, but I want you to know that this is a representation of your heart's desire. This is a representation of why you are here. And I'm going to lay my hands as, on as much as possible as a point of contact. All I want you to do is stretch your hands here and begin to receive answers to your prayer. Go ahead. Go ahead. Stretch your hands as I pray on this. Our God is greater. Our God is stronger. Just play the tune while we pray. Stretch your hands and receive. Shaka parata Lord, we are praying. Please make sure you are praying outside. Stretch your hands towards the screen. Say, Lord, I receive it. I receive it. Lift your hands and stretch your hands here and pray. Pray from the depth of your heart.
Lord, let there be testimonies in the name of Jesus. Turn impossible situations into testimonies. Lord, we agree, we agree, we agree in the name of Jesus. Turn impossible situations to testimonies. Stretch your hands and keep receiving. I receive by faith. Come on, pray. All kinds of miracles by the anointing of the Holy Ghost. All kinds of miracles. Thank you for your grace. Thank you for your glory. Even as these prayer points, Lord, are lifted up to you, Lord. As your people look up to you, Lord. They look up to you, Lord, from whence their help cometh from my Father. I ask you, Lord, that you send angels, Lord. You send answers, my Father. I pray that God doors that are yet to be opened be opened. My Father, I pray for healings, Lord. Healings or terminal cases, Lord, let it be turned. Lord, where people said, there's no way. My Father, we pray that doors, Lord, you create streams in wilderness places. My Father, Lord, for people that cast away, my Father, Lord, you make them renowned by the power of your spirit. We ask for your hand to rest upon your people. Lord, we ask that, Lord, miracles, miracles, Lord, will be given to your people. Answers to prayers, Lord, prayer points that have been pending for many years. We ask that, God, doors be open, Lord. Let miracles, Lord, flow into this house in the name of Jesus. Testimonies, we are bound in great ways, Lord, unprecedented miracles. Lord, we pray in the name of Jesus. We ask for healings. We ask that, Lord, people that are insane, you cause them to be sane in the name of Jesus. We pray for contract that long delayed. Lord, we pray that, Lord, they will be awarded by the power of your spirit in the name of Jesus. And we pray for a shield of protection over your saints, Lord. In the name of Jesus, we ask for a revitalization of spiritual lives by the power of your spirit. Let the fire of God call, come on cold altars in the name of Jesus. Let there be healings and touches in families in the blessed name of Jesus. We give you praise, we give you glory for the great and mighty things you will do amongst us, Lord. We give you praise, blessed Father, for we know all our prayers have been answered by the power of your spirit. We thank you in the name of Jesus we pray. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. If you believe that your request has been turned into a testimony, I'd like you to shout a loud hallelujah. Shout a loud hallelujah. A loud hallelujah. A loud hallelujah. 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 For many of you, it will be like you are dreaming when you will watch one by one by one by one by one by one in the name of the Lord Jesus Christ it's by the anointing it's not by English burdens are destroyed because of the anointing hallelujah this last segment you've heard me say it again this is the most powerful and most impactful segment if you're not a man of the spirit you may not understand what I'm saying please help them this is the most powerful of this segment right now before we go into this where I begin to prophesy there are two dimensions to prophecy there is the revelatory dimension of prophecy that dimension of prophecy gives you direction but the stronger dimension of prophecy is the creative dimension that's when things that are not become by the power of the spoken word never joke with the power of prophecy that's the power that created the heavens and the earth 
he said I prophesied as I was commanded before we do that very quickly everyone inside and outside there are people here tonight who are saying man of God I want to commit my life to the Lord I've seen the miracles I've seen the signs and wonders but my way is not right with the Lord you know that right now as you're standing here if the trumpet sounds you're not making heaven you know it right now having a Christian name is not the same as having a relationship with Jesus there are some you've given your heart to the Lord at one time please help the, uh, those under the anointing I tell you there will be a powerful impartation right now I sense a heavy anointing on me already that's why I'm doing this very quickly now if you are here please don't delay us you are saying I want to return home for whatever reason you found yourself living the ways of God and you are saying Lord I have heard your word and I'm not ashamed to make Jesus my Lord there are people in this auditorium young and old there are people by all the overflows right to the roadside no matter how far you are hearing my voice it should not be too far right now I'll just count one to five please run like you are running away from death run like there's fire on the mountain one inside and outside the devil is a liar tonight don't let any spirit stop you Tori. Hallelujah, hallelujah. Keep coming, God bless you. You have won it all for me. Hallelujah, hallelujah. You have won the victory. Sing hallelujah, hallelujah. You have won. Keep coming, keep coming. Please hurry up and catch up with us. Sons of Tibuchi. Sons of Tibuchi. We give you the praise, sons of Gibraltar. One more time, sons of Gibraltar. Don't sit back there when you hear the voice of the Lord, sons of Gibraltar. I appreciate every one of you for coming out. This is the way to the cross. Listen, no matter what you achieve in life, if your eternal destiny is not secured, it says, this is the testimony that God has given us eternal life. But he said, this life is in his son. Until you have the son, you do not have that life. Lift your right hand forget about who is looking at you and in the name of Jesus I want you to pray this prayer from the depth of your heart you are not reciting a poem it's not a special number this is a decision there's one of you here you smoke all these kinds of things Igbo and the rest huh? but as you pray this prayer the power is broken over your life say after me as loud as you can from the depth of your heart say lord jesus i love you with all my heart and with everything within me this night i make jesus lord of my life i repent of my sins i declare that eternal life comes into my spirit I am born again I'm a child of God from today the power of sin the power of the flesh is broken over me my past is gone and it's over forever I am a new creation in Christ in the name of Jesus the power of sin is broken over my life in the name of Jesus I receive of your life 
in jesus name i pray now i stretch my hands over you and i declare the power of sin is broken over your life in the name of jesus every yoke that has tied you down lets you go forever in the name of jesus i declare that is a new season for you everything that is a habit and a challenge in your life i release you from it right now every covenant and ordinance of darkness that is the foundation of your trouble by the blood of jesus it is wiped away i set you free i break you free from every wrong association that keeps you in sin in the name of jesus christ i pray hallelujah i want to congratulate all of you for making this decision this is the greatest decision you would ever make in your life hallelujah now very quickly so that you catch up with us in this prophetic session i want you to follow the gentlemen waving their hands they will have your details and then we'll follow you up very closely praise the lord just follow them koinonia celebrate them as they go all of you this way this way just follow the gentlemen now everybody rise please i want you to receive this prophetic word this is the seventh month and the bible says revive thy work in the midst of the years hallelujah there is a mystery with the seventh month is the time where god perfects all things as i prophesy to you please i want you to know that there is an anointing that makes it happen hallelujah listen listen don't, don't mind all that nonsense one way to conquer satan is to ignore him all of that rubbish uh, is is the devil works in the realm of the senses by the time you focus all your attention on this drama and these things you will waste your time i know you're trying as ushers just stand around satan does not have authority i want you to know that there is an anointing manifestations are already signs that his power is broken but satan knows that we walk in the realm of the flesh so he begins to act around your mind to distract you when you ignore satan is one way of conquering him it does not have the capacity to continue all of this nonsense are you getting my point so this is teaching you so that tomorrow you don't end up wasting your time with all this rubbish and all this drama praise the lord lift your hands i prophesied as i was commanded you are Yahweh you are seated on the throne you are Yahweh seated on the throne you are Yahweh you are seated on the throne father in the name of Jesus I'm praying right now by the ministry of angels are they not ministering spirits send to minister today that be the heirs of salvation I pray for you every weakness in your life that weakness dies tonight in the name of Jesus every weakness in your life that weakness leaves you tonight in the name of Jesus. Hallelujah. I prophesy to you that Red Sea you are standing before by the anointing of the Holy Ghost in this second half of the year. An anointing comes upon you and I prophesy cross every Red Sea. Cross every Red Sea cross every red sea in the name of jesus christ i pray for every student here oh for there is a spirit in man and the inspiration make it men of understanding i'm praying for you some of you listen as i pray now some of you will literally feel like oil being poured upon your head is an impartation of knowledge right now oh god i release an anointing to change the story of students at the count of three let it fall right now one two three take it take it take it take it now take it
take it now that anointing receive it for exploits shaka ta 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 inside and outside take it for exploits 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 hallelujah everything called stagnation in your life that has forced you to stay in one position while you should be moving right now in the name of jesus and by the power of prophecy i command stagnation to end now 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 my goodness something is happening to your destiny every night season in your life every wilderness experience that has refused to break forth into the day i speak to you right now your morning arise finally your morning arise finally your morning arise finally hallelujah there is something called favor i don't know if you know it but there is something called favor when the favor of god is upon a man your looks your background your qualifications no longer matter let an anointing of favor right now i see at least 100 people 100 people like fire 100 people right now receive it receive it favor 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 upon your life favor 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 parekete embratata lakata i prophesy by an apostolic anointing favor 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 everyone holding anything that should be given to you for the next level i don't care where they are but i sound an alarm in the spirit that in this month we're entering called august may that be the month where you receive the keys of the next level receive the keys of the next level the mysteries of the next level every spiritual blindness shababa things happen around you you cannot see Lord of spiritual vision I pray right now many of you will see like flashes of light as I'm praying right now you will see literally like flashes of light your eyes are opening right now right now right now right now right now by the power of the Holy Ghost blindness spiritual blindness spiritual blindness be free from it right now. Be free from it right now. Be free from it right now. Hallelujah. There are many of us here. Dreams and visions are prophetic channels where we get insight and direction. But for many of us, our dreams and visions have either been corrupted or it's no longer there. The Bible says they will dream dreams. It says they will see visions. Shakataba. Lift your hands. There will be an, a restoration anointing right now. 
I just want you to shout, I receive. Listen, many things will happen to you. Many of you is an activation of the realm of dreams and visions where God will start showing you the blueprint for the next level. Right now, in the name of Jesus, at the count of three, as you shout, I receive. Let there be an impartation upon your dream life, upon spiritual visions. One, two, three. Now you receive it. Receive it. Restoration of fire. Fire. Dream dreams. See visions. Dream dreams. See visions. Dream dreams. See visions. Dream dreams. Hallelujah. It says, what do you have in your house? And she said, nothing except a jar of oil. I want to prophesy upon your gift. It's one thing to be gifted, but it's another thing for your gift to be anointed. There are many of you, the gift you have can bring bread to your table, but nobody is seeing it. It's one thing to be gifted. It's one thing to be skilled, but it's another thing for your gift to be anointed thou anointed my head with oil and it makes my cup to overflow i prophesy to you whatever has covered your gift whatever has made your gift barren right now in the name of jesus i anoint your gift now i anoint your skill now i anoint your gift now creativity creativity i release it i release that anointing creativity skill expertise competence proficiency in the name of jesus christ Listen, anybody who has said it's not your time to manifest that you always remain on the background you clap for others but you are not cursed it's God's desire that every man will also come to the lamb light I pray for you whatever has kept you behind right now in the name of Jesus I command let the light be on you let the light of glory be on you. Hallelujah. Everything you have tried by your strength to do and you have been unable to do throughout half of this year, you have tried by your strength. I'm releasing grace upon your life right now. Go back to that same thing and watch how God will bless you through it. I pray for every ministry here from glory to glory every church represented from honor to honor new dimensions of the anointing in the name of Jesus Christ every business here is time to shine come on every business here I strengthen your hand arise and shine arise and shine arise and shine arise and shine Lift your hands. One last prayer. Listen. I want to activate the gift of the Spirit. Without the gift of the Spirit upon your life, your life will be barren and unfruitful. It says, For I long to see you that I may impart upon you some spiritual gift to the end that ye be established. I pray for you. In the name of the Lord Jesus Christ that the Lord himself something is about to happen to your life right now as I speak father I come under this apostolic anointing right now across the length and breadth 
in this auditorium and outside at the count of three let there be an activation of spiritual gift one two three take it take it gift of healing word of knowledge gift of prophecy 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 I activate the prophetic I open your eyes spiritual gifts endowments of the spirit I declare that you are supernatural beginning from tonight in the name of Jesus everywhere you go you are supernatural let the anointing upon this house follow you like a shadow I prophesy to you every anointing that is upon this house from today let it follow you like a shadow whatever the anointing has brought to this house let it bring it to your life hallelujah lift your hands and give him praise father we give you all the praise I assure you you will know that this miracle service was unusual you will know many of you right from this night tomorrow will not reach you start having your testimonies right from this night right from this night favor alerts calls i mean connections mysterious happenings i speak to the spiritual borders of your destiny and in the name of jesus i command that every gate that has been closed the bible says your gate shall be continually open so you have a gate your gate shall be continually open to receive the forces of the gentiles i pray for you in the name that is above all names let everything in your life start working for you i command the earth to work for you i command the wind to work for you I command the stars to work for you everything that is a disappointment in your life I change it tonight to a testimony Hallelujah. if you're worshiping with us for the first time keep standing everybody there are many people outside let me speak upon your life personally wherever you are please make your way to the front quickly we have one minute to do this god bless you this is your first time you are most welcome there is a prophecy for you you must carry a signature no stand up keep standing everybody must know you came for koinonia hallelujah listen when you come here we may not give you hampers but we give you an identity you will go back with it and everyone will know that you met the Christ. Make your way to the front. Koinonia, celebrate them. Glorious. Glorious. God brought them by his spirit. Is this the best you can do in appreciation to what the mighty God has done? Hello, beloved in Christ. We hope this message was a blessing to you. I would want you to do something for us. If you are new here, kindly hit on that subscribe button for us. And then like this video as well. Share to your family and friends to bless them because we know that this message will be a blessing to their body, to their soul, and to their spirit. We would need you to do one thing for us too. Tell us in the comment section where you were watching us from. And if you've got any testimony for us, kindly share with us. Thank you for watching.